Oh, there we go. Finally. Jeez. That took long enough. Just thinking of all the sponge baths. She's like, I no longer have to give a sponge bath. Yes. Oh, she's going to go use... <laughs> She's Googling right next to Herb's gravestone. She's like, how do I kill an old woman? <laughs> now Coral, yeah. Coral, we're waiting for you, girl. Hi guys, and welcome back to yet another Sims 3 Pleasant View video. I'm just putting it out there. I'm feeling a little ill today, so keep your distance from me. I'm just kidding. Today we're gonna be playing The Sims 3. Looking for more A Cotton Sock content, I now have a second channel, A Cotton Sock 2. In the last stream, I was struck because Cassandra married Daniel Pleasant and then Angela moved Ooh. in, which was so bizarre to me. Like, Angela, I guess she's there to help take care of her new half siblings. So, in the last stream, there was a baby boom in this town. There were so many babies born. So, we had Dina had a new baby. The Burbs had a brand new baby. Well, so we moved in Kaylin Langrock, the, the townie maid in The Sims 2 that's now in The Sims 3. She moved in with Coral and Herb, and she's now their live-in nurse, I guess, because <laughs> they're way overdue. If you see, Coral is five days overdue, which is crazy. She's had a very long life. Let's see, who else was born in the last stream? There was, there was a lot of babies born. Darren had a baby with Dina, by the way, if you're wondering who the father of Dina's baby is. Oh, and Donny Caliente, who is Don's son, aged up as well. Yeah, this today is Pleasant View. Saturdays are reserved for Sims 3 Pleasant View. Here's Donny. A lot of you were like fawning over him because he's very cute. So this is Nina's son and Don's son. He's very, he's adorable. I like his hair. So yeah, that's where we're at currently. Now, if you know, if you watched in the last stream, Cassandra, this entire family was living in Cassandra's revamped trailer, which used to be Brandy Brooks trailer. As you can see, I customized it to her aesthetic. But I moved them into this. Oh, that's the park. This house. And I renovated it. It took a long time because it's a big house, but I did renovate it. So here is the front room here. I kind of tried to stick with like the black and red theme because once again, Cassandra is very gothic. She's also going to age up to an adult today in the stream, which is fun. So here's all this and then here's the kitchen. This house looks way different, by the way. So I really did renovate. I revamped it a lot. Here's Isaac's room back here. This is supposed to be a dining room, but I made it into a baby room. Here's the girls' room over here. We have Ingrid and Iris. Those are the babies. And then up here is where okay this this ice cream truck is driving me nuts what can i do with this let's see can i do anything with this delete get this object out of my ear i keep keep hearing it I keep hearing it delete i'm just gonna delete it yeah the, the triplets were not great looking so don't have high hopes for that why is the music also Okay, we might we might need a total time reset because <laughs> deleting the ice cream truck did not remove the little music notes. Also, I have a reshade video coming out. Um, someone in chat, I think it was Murgo. Murgo, I don't think you've been here in a while, have you? Uh, I have reshade in my game now, so this is what the game looks like without. It's so dull. I can't believe I used this game without reshade before. That's crazy to me. And then this is with reshade. It just oops, there, there's reshade. It enhances the enhances the shadows and yeah, it's pretty. Anyway, here's the here's the top room. So this will be Angela's room. If you don't know, Angela Pleasant, Daniel's daughter, lives with them now, which I think is good. I think Daniel would be like, hey, Angela, um, do you want to move in with me because <laughs> and help take care of your siblings? Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, Angela is not friends with her mom, Mary Sue. She does not like her own mom. And then over here is, last but not least, Elizabeth Lothario. Oh, someone. Oh, it's Daniel. He completed a personable skill challenge. Good job, Daniel. Over here is Elizabeth Lothario's room. This is Dawn and Cassie's daughter. This is where she'll be staying. So that's their house. That's their brand new place. I did move them out. I just wanted to mention it, put it here in case we see them kicking around and they're in a brand new place. So I thought I would bring that up. I kind of wanted to look at Dina and, okay, call a babysitter. I wanted to look at Dina and Darren's daughter 
in case you guys want to see so someone in the last episode asked me to do a ranking of the new generation of pleasant view citizens visually and let me let me age them up to adults yeah juliet her name is juliet she's so cute so this is darren and dina's daughter she looks almost identical to dina like crazy identical i don't know why her face is looking why does the shadow look like that it looks weird she has a very like v-shaped face so cj i had to look at your enros porter video and it helped me hi cj you're welcome i'm glad that you could find that video useful so there's juliet juliet is so cute and pretty and love it she looks so realistic <laughs> and then hemlock i would say so the hemlock oh right it's all coming back to me the new generation of pleasant few citizens so hemlock is dirk and lilith's daughter she's very cute i named her hemlock oh lord that hat <laughs> the randomly generated hat is crazy here's hemlock she's very pale but yeah this is dirk why is her skin looking so different oh i'm, I'm trying out a brand new mod you see how my game is so bright i was so confused why everything is so bright i added a brand new mod in my game let me show y'all what i what i added to my game oh my goodness i was wondering why because last time we played this game my my game was not this bright i was like what is going on why is my game so bright it's because i'm using this mod right here let me show y'all this brand new mod i added yes it's called the pure cast lighting mod for sims 3 and it really just brightens up so i'm using what i'm using i think i'm using this middle one as you can see like all the lighting is different so this is like base game sims 3 this is version 1 and this is version 2 i'm using version 1. yeah it's a cast lighting mod and it actually if you're wondering if you're wondering if it works with um or at waffles lighting mod it does it's compatible as you can see compatible with any other cast slash camera slash animation um and it's okay, i think it works with Burt waffles lighting mod Hold on, now I'm scared that it doesn't... Works with any cast, camera, and animation edit mod. And, oh, and world lighting mod. Yeah, so it is compatible with Burnt Waffles. Conflicts with any mod that edits custom light rigging dot any. I don't think that Burnt Waffles touches this, so... It is, it looks good, right? It, it really brightens up the cast. Like, it looks a... It, even I would go as far to say that it looks a little bit too bright for my taste, but I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it a chance. Yeah, I forgot. I, I installed it like when I was doing Cassandra in Daniel's house, which was like a couple of days ago. She looks like a vampire, right? <laughs> She's very pale. She's very pale. But that is uh, Dirk and Lilith's daughter. And then we had Darren and Dina's daughter born in the last stream. Oh, my game is lagging. Something's, something's getting stuck or someone's reset. Re reset? <laughs> reset. <laughs> reset. Do you know your reset? Re? Oh my gosh. My SH is right now. I can't even pronounce. I'm going to get a hydration. Maybe I can recoup myself. Okay, do you know your re-shade preset? That was such a mouthful for me to say. Um, Mine is Daydream. It's Daydream by Erasable Dinosaur, but I did tweak it to my liking. I added some SMAA, which is smooth edges i added some mxao which is the nice shadows we're seeing so i did edit it to myself or for my own like i mean sorry my mind's like so foggy because i don't feel good right now so my mind is like blanking lady oaks thank you so much for the gift sub the volcanic ash i appreciate it it's enros tagger the mob that lets me see everyone in town leo b it's enros tagger anyway okay so let's get uh let's see what, what are we doing today so I think what's in order first of all we need to celebrate cassandra's birthday oh where are you going i think she's using her stroller oh no she's just walking brandy's taking her son for a walk ouch brandy like put him in like a stroller or something he i i, I don't know i feel like that'd be super exhausting to carry a baby like all the way down the road is her kid shirtless yes <laughs> but it is summer it's 83 fahrenheit in 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 uh pleasant view right now so i don't know maybe it's for the best <laughs> um okay so let's check out alexander we have a day let's just catch up with some of our pleasant view people alexander is stuck in his car love that for him someone needs a little reset 
Let's reset him. I don't know why he's stuck. He lives in this giant house that like we all wanted in The Sims 2. Um, it's like a mansion. He used some of his goth money to buy this place, which is crazy. Hi now. Also, bye, Rosalia. <clears throat> All right, so now it's between Jen and John's son and the triplets. Every time I watch you, it makes me want to play Sims 3 again. It's just so fun. It is fun, right? This house is hell. I don't like this house. Yeah, Alexander was stuck in his car. I feel like I may need to do a total ton reset. You'll see how when I move across town, it's a little bit laggy. I'm going to quickly just go in here and reset everything, reset the town. That should that should work. I can't believe I forgot that I installed that mod. I actually am thinking I'm looking back at these pictures of the mod. And I don't remember what version I have, but I kind of want to. OK, we can save in a second. I'll, I kind of want to try out. This second one here, because the first one is really, really bright. I think I'm going to try out version two. So this is default. This is like version one version two if you're wondering why so there's two versions yeah okay when i close my game oh 10,000 objects have been reset i'm also gonna save like amber hamburger redeemed that reminds me i also gotta do a total ton reset my pleasant view yeah it's good to do every once in a while i like to do it after i do a regal save cleaner as well just get both of them out of the way I kind of hate this house that Alexander's living in. It's so lonely. I feel bad for him. Hi, Ebean. You're not late. We just started playing Sims 3. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Alrighty. So, I also wish the game would do... Oh, Alexander wants to join the Ghost Hunter career. He, he wants to join education, though. The situation with Lucy can't be saved. No, I don't think it can. They have a minus 50, uh, 85. 85 point oh no is that a 65 sorry i can't see my monitor is so far away from me 65.59 negative elena elena villa has recently moved in with daniel did they adopt a daughter oh <gasps> i think cassie adopted a daughter cassie and daniel hold on a sec where no she didn't I feel like this is a foster situation. I think they fostered a... Wait, I think they fostered a, a girl. Because we have Elena and we have Clifton. He's an old guy though. Uh, is this his daughter? Who are your children? Oh no, so this is his daughter. So I think Cassie and Daniel took in this guy and his daughter because they didn't have um a place to stay, so. They fostered a whole family, yeah. I love how Cassie and Daniel just take in like a million people in their house. Like they don't care. They do not mind. They don't care that their house is like packed to the brim. They don't mind. Well, in that case, oh my gosh, there's so many opportunities. I think we need to get, <laughs> there's nowhere else to build. I was not anticipating them having people move in. We need to, I need to finish like the bathrooms. I didn't have enough money to finish the bathrooms. I mean, I can finish the bathrooms. They need to switch homes with Alex. So I believe Alex is home. I don't think it has, I don't know how many bedrooms it has, but correct me if I'm wrong. I think it actually doesn't have that many. Shift delete, shift delete. I do believe they're townies, which is why they're moving in. Oh my gosh, I have to enable by debug. I always forget I deleted those by debug lights now that I have the by debug cheat works because of my store fixes okay let me put that in there ah, why is my game laggy already look i didn't even go and create a cell tool it's lagging like the randoms i could just kick them honestly they did bring in a little bit of money oh my lord oh my lord my game's like frozen not frozen but it's it's thinking it's thinking it's taking a second to think uh oh yeah I always shift delete sims with that hat. <laughs> Should that be the golden rule? Hi, Ez. I saw you in Rakowski's chat the other day on YouTube. I was watching Rakowski's stream. I always feel shy saying hi because I don't know how long I could stay. Take the money and delete, yeah. 
See, my game is like frozen right now. Happy Saturday to you, Ez. They, they don't even have room for these kids. I don't know why. So in the last stream, I was talking about, oh my gosh, can this freaking create a style tool? Holy shit. It was a horse riding hat. Oh my gosh, I'm like frozen in this create a style tool. This is crazy. What is going on? Let me... Let me kick them out. So first I need to make sure they don't take any money. So I'm gonna go to mover. Then money transferred. We're gonna go zero. And then I'm just gonna kick them because I don't know who these people are. Thank you, Leo. My cat's name is Leo. That name has a very special place in my heart. Greatest styles a love-hate relationship. It is, I don't understand. Oh my goodness. Um, her and Pest moved into 55 Woodland Drive at 55, what? <laughs> he moved, he moved into the same house he's already in? Okay, okay game. All right, I'm kicking them out, I'm sorry. I can't take you right now, I don't have space. Uh, do you wish to place them anywhere? Yes, that's fine. Yeah, the, the household is jam-packed. We need to get rid of some of these sims for sure. I think that is Cassie slash Brandy's trailer. Okay, let me make more bathrooms in this house because I didn't have enough money to um, to do it, but now I'm going to... I, I don't know why Daniel agreed to take this guy in. Clifton Vila? He's not even friends with him. He doesn't even know him at all. It's weird. Oh, I can't because someone's moving. <gasps> no way, Cassie's pregnant again. Oh my God, she's just had another baby. She just had a baby, now she's having another one. She wants to have five kids, raise five children for babies and teenagers. How is she pregnant again? Cassie, why do you do this to me? I know. Well, this is, Ca this is Cassie and, and Daniel has like a woohoo problem. So I can understand why this is happening. <laughs> they don't even have any more space. Here's, here's a, uh, he's probably gonna, I actually, he's like an underdog in this game. I feel like Connor Burb, this is Jen and John's son. If you notice all the burb kids that have been born have like the same look i don't know what's happening with his nose i think it's a slider problem don't ask why he has that weirdness weird shadow under his nose um it's gotta be a slider problem i think but if you notice he's fine and he's fine and creative him it's just in uh the world he's very cute though but yeah they all have the same look all the burb boys and the girls have the same look. Lucy is the exception because she was made in Kratosim. But um all the bird boys, they look they look identical to each other. I don't know what's going on. Like <laughs> why are they looking so close to each other? He does look like John, yeah. I removed multiple surrounded by family left and wishes from Sims and Pleasant View. This oh my god, she wants to eat a cookie. Oh, she's talking to her daughter about books. Ooh, I like that outfit. I did go with that. Mary Sue and Dirk met recently to hash out a new business agreement. Interesting combination. I'm gonna bring them home. So tomorrow in game is going to be Cassie's birthday. I really want to do a big party for her. You know, she's aging up to the big 4-0. I don't know, but that's how old I think she is personally. John is family. Yes, he is family. He loves his family. Does Sims 3 have firstborn syndrome like Sims 2? No, it does not. Blah, blah, blah. All talk and nothing to show for it, mumbled Dina Caliente. If Bo Broke really wants me to idolize him, maybe they should share some more of that wealth with me. I think Dina is mooching off of Bo. Also, thank you for hydration, Mally. Oh, corals surrounded by family? I didn't know that. Oh shoot, I didn't put cat stuff down. This poor cat. I always forget to do that. Coral is got one foot in the grave. I don't honestly I don't know how she's still alive. I really don't. So these two are still together. Yeah, they are. Cassie and Daniel are still still together. I'm also surprised. Believe me, I am also surprised. I feel like the the situation works out mutually for both of them because Cassie wants kids, Daniel wants woohoo, and you know, 
I don't know if he wants kids necessarily, but he gets them. I don't think they're truly in love because Daniel is still getting around behind her back, but you know what? We won't talk about that. Okay, where is Angela? Angela needs to go home. She's tired. She's reading a book outside the military or the athletic facility, I think. Yeah, she's just standing here. Why is she a rabid fan? I didn't get her that. I did not get her that job, I don't think. Did I? I don't think I did. So I'm gonna have her quit that. We'll see if she gets anything, like any job that actually I want to do. If you don't know, in this industry, there is a quota for every career. In order to have the game fill out like bosses and coworkers and things like that, Sims will randomly be assigned jobs to fill that quota. So because Pleasant View is such a small town in comparison to any other Sims 3 town, Sims will get auto-filled. Oh my gosh, Brandy Egyptian Elder. <gasps> wow, no more babies for her. That's sad. Let's see what she looks like. But yeah, that's why my Sims keep getting filled into random jobs. Barnard. Wow. Look at her. Oh my gosh, this lighting mod like severely messed up. Um, <laughs> her eyes and her butt chin. <laughs> I gave her eye bags and a butt chin because, you know, she's got a bunch of kids. So why would she not have them? As you can see, it's with this new lighting mod in cast. It's very heavy. It is very, very heavy. I should take that off her like immediately. Let's do that. So here's Brandy all grown up. She looks very rich and expensive. You know, she married Mortimer and I feel like she's, they're actually one of the couples that I'm very surprised have lasted. I don't know. I, I feel like it's, it's a cute combo, Morty and Brandy. You know what I mean? It's something I didn't see coming, but yeah, I like it. And she's just as very expensive now. She did take the goth name seriously. I like that outfit that she got randomly generated with. Can't believe Brandy and Coral are in the same age group. I don't know why Coral's not dying. Coral girl, please pass already. <laughs> what? I, oh, wait, they moved in. Wait. Oh my gosh. They moved in. They moved down the street. Why did they do that? They were living here. This house had enough beds and everything. And then they moved down the street to Cassie slash Brandy's old trailer. I didn't catch that. Someone someone in chat said that and I was like, what are you talking? I was in my head, I was thinking about what are you talking about? They still live in the same place. Because I saw the notification up here that said that they moved and it was like in the same house. Oh, that was you, Lizzie. I guess I don't know, like 55 Woodland Drive doesn't mean anything to me because I don't know the street names but holy this is cassie slash brandy's old place so this is where the herb herb this is where the herb this is where herb and coral are living i guess kaylin gets <laughs> elizabeth's old room <laughs> with the toys and stuff in it i'm gonna delete this we can leave it pink though i just discovered that community time was making my sims stuck at work but like i need this mod why is that is it a conflict Clementine, thank you. I appreciate it for the prime. Have you looked up how to set up the bed checker? Bed checker for Sims 3? Oh, yeah. I think meant in like Sims 2, like bed checker as in like bed claim it. Um, so I looked it up at the end of the last stream and in Enros, there is this option. It's actually master controller. It's not even in server version. It's home inspection, check for no double bed, true. And then Lizzie, I think it was in the last stream, there's this option under, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna find it. I think it's under town, maybe? Anyway, there's a lot, there's a lot option in here somewhere where you can do essentially the, oh, it's options, lots. It's uh, home inspect or options inspection. I have everything set to true. Every, every inspection that they can do, cribs, Career objects, pet beds, rigorous home inspection, everything is set to true, yet Sims are moving into households where there's no pet beds, where there's no pet bowls. You know what I mean? Something is wrong within my Sims 3 game where this is not going through. They're, the game is not checking if Sims can, you know, it's, I don't know what's happening. So they're, they're moving into houses, like Sims with babies are moving into houses with no crib in it. What? Why? Why is this happening? 
Yes, they have a star dog. Isn't that cute? Oh, there is a pet bull in here. That's why they moved. Okay. Speaking of Dirk, the Dirk dreamer in my pleasant view. And Ross is so head hurting. I have spent like hours making videos for that mod and just doing everything and I still can't understand what's going on like sometimes you know sims will get jobs and careers that i don't want them to be in and it's just Aaron has a paint where is dirk at where is what is his job i want to see what dirk's job is aubrey's going home oh dirk is a test subject see he should not be a test subject oh my gosh flashbang <laughs> he should not be a test subject you love my unreal ideas thank you as i appreciate that I am going to go ahead and swap back to Cassie because I want to celebrate her birthday. We're missing like so many birthdays and I want to be able to celebrate her. If not you, Maddie, I would not be able to set that mod up. I'm glad I could help. That's what I'm here for. Dina aged up to an adult too. So many Sims in my pleasant view randomly joined the science course. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier, Lord, is, oh no. Alexander is not Mortimer's friend anymore. That is sad. Oh my gosh, I feel for Mortimer. Or I feel for Alexander, not Mortimer. That is sad. But I was gonna say, Lord, that is, uh, that's that quota I was talking about. The game has a quota for every job in order to fill out, you know, bosses and coworkers and everything like that. If the game doesn't have that, it will pull Sims. It will override your manual commands for the, whatever job you want them to join it will override that and put them in what it needs so that's what i was that's what i was talking about yeah i don't know why morty is ignoring his his, his kids okay so what we're gonna do is i'm actually going to have angela wake up i know right weird she's gonna oh the babies are in the wrong crib whatever she's gonna help with the kids because that's why i think daniel would like talk to her about that like hey if you want to live with me, then you gotta help take care of my kids. I did see the Barbie movie, yeah, so it's good. I liked it. If you go to City Hall and Ross Careers, this allow choose career. Would that stop the assignment? Oh, I never thought about doing that setting actually. It's under it's under Enros Careers. general what is it under careers general's careers just allow choose career do you mean in, in sword progression careers so i have what do i have here um oh shit what did i just click manually select careers well, that's that's not what i wanted where was that i'm clicking things that i did not want to click Manually select careers equal true. False. I have that on false, I guess. Auto find job set to false. Okay, there we go. I swear. No, you know where I have the setting? I have it in here. This is where it doesn't work for me. See, I have auto find job set to false in town options, but I guess I needed it in whatever that one that you just had me go to. Yeah. Oh my god, Angela wants to get a degree. Okay. I'm gonna give her a degree. I feel like we should play Sims 3 University at some point. I don't know with who though. Like who are we gonna do it with? We're gonna give her, what should we give Angela? What kind of degree would she have? I think she'd have like a communications degree. Maybe a, uh, what are her interests? What are her traits? Let me look up her traits. Let's see what she got. I think communications. Yeah, maybe the triplets. This Pleasant View is so educated. Hey, every single time I see this want, I complete it for them. Party animal, athletic. Oh, she's athletic. Well, that could be a, like a physical education degree. Or, and she's artistic as well, though. I feel like she would be physical education because she has that athletic trait. Maybe we'll do that. Phys physical education, we're going to do eight... Then she will now have a phys ed degree. There we go. Okay, let's have her. Oh my gosh, Mary Sue and Darren are getting together. 
I'm excited for you to play university since I don't have that pack installed in my game. The university in Sims 3 is my least favorite university that EA has ever done. I, I really, really don't like it. <laughs> as someone as twitches and ticks in, in chat says university is one of my favorite packs the contrast the contrast is real the triplets juliet and hemlock and jen and john's baby can go to uni together i have i'll have to write that down lizzie because that is so many sims yeah they were all born the same day <laughs> if i can't have Cass, i'll take her best friend hey that's what cassie did to daniel right <laughs> I use the hometown UD mod for sure. Um, you can't use it when you're swapping households like I am. It like messes things up. Pleasant Sims tried to do it and she couldn't get it to work, unfortunately. So they will have to go to the ex exterior university world. I'm gonna have to add that onto this save. It is very demanding. In The Sims, in the Sims um, 3, it is very demanding. The university having to go to the lots, having to do the active classes, having to Make sure they have skills, having Sims have a social life. And not only that, it is so long. The University in Sims 3 is so incredibly long. You can shorten it. It's, you can actually shorten it with an Enros mod. It's in one of, it's a really random option. It's in a really random place. I forget which, it might be register, like Enros register or something like that, but you can shorten it for sure. Um, I just, I hate how they did it in Sims 3. I really do. I'm gonna put Isaac in there. And he makes the sim save up 50 points you can buy a degree i like the challenge but it's super long it is incredibly long it is more demanding it's i think it's like one of the oh my gosh the little baby cute i don't know what it is but cassie's face the face that she has in the sims 3 this game it has cursed all of her children like they all are just not that they're not they're not that okay Angela's in her undies just walking around. <laughs> yeah, it's the chin. It's Cassie's chin. For whatever reason, it's like so... You know, it looks fine on her, but when this face gets mixed with like kids, and when she has kids, it's... It's not... It's not good. I'm gonna have her make some, some food. Do they have... They probably don't have groceries, do they? No, we're gonna just stock the fridge. I'm, I'm over having all my sims go to the grocery store because if I keep doing that, it's gonna just be so much. Yeah, Elizabeth looks fine after the big oak I gave her. <sighs> Last time I went, I played the sims three, my sims only wanted 10 parties and never study. I feel like that that's the common experience in the sims three diversity for whatever reason. Oh, she's pregnant. I don't know when she got pregnant. We must have not been playing her. Oh, of course. Daniel's gonna go to play with his son rather than his daughters who are awake over here. Nice. He picks and chooses, I see. His, his favorites, he picks and chooses, you know? Okay. Elizabeth is heading off to school. Angela, what do you do? Angela doesn't have a job, does she? She, had a, she has a college degree now, though. Why does her face look like <laughs> the face that is like I regret every decision of life? Cancelled. Daniel has his favorites, okay? He has his favorites. He's gonna go work out. His little morning workout here. La Gucci. Ah, we shall do. Work out. No work out. Holland back in two. I love it. I love the TV. I that that TV workout sound played the background of my childhood. Okay, it's cemented in my brain. A little workout sound. I love it. Oh, black and two. Versa, oh, Versa. Oh, I'm black and two. <laughs> I love it. We all know that workout song. I have like a, you know, I had to, I, uh, on my Facebook, you know, it comes up when you post memories or whatever. And I had like a memory from a bunch of years ago. I think I showed it on stream. And it was like Sims Fanatic um, Diary 105, you know, one of those stupid Tumblr posts. It's like if you can recite every word in the in the Sims 3, it's like when you when you can recite every word in the Sims 3 TV shows or workouts or whatever. 
one of those stupid posts that people used to do on Tumblr, you know what I mean? Like one of those like Sims 3 facts or Sim or you know you're a real Simmer when da 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 da. I can't work out from the TV. I always have something interesting that I stop and get invested in the drama. I like to send my, I, I try as much as I can to send my, yeah, just simmer things. That's what I mean. Yeah. It was Sims 2 weather channel. Isaac is the least ugly out of all the triplets. So I literally cannot blame him. Well, see, I don't remember what he looks like. I remember the girls looked identical. I mean, they're triplets. I mean, I guess it doesn't mean anything. You can be a triplet and not look like your siblings, but here's what he looks like. Yeah, he's fine. He's just, I feel like Cassie's face genetics look better on a male sim than a female sim. I think that's just like how her features work out. He does look a lot like Daniel. I don't know why I'm giving him these chef hats um, and this Jersey Shore looking hat. <laughs> He's pretty. Yeah, he's, he's, he's okay. He's okay. I don't know how I feel about that lighting mod that I installed. Hydration, thank you, Mel. Why does he look like Mary Soon away? The tea, the drama. <clears throat> Wait, someone said, are you gonna keep his last name on your sim? I'm able to play my legacy again since I got a cooling mat and my sim just got pregnant with Cyclone Swords baby. <laughs> And then Lord asks, are you gonna keep his last name? Oh, here she goes. Pregnant on her birthday to becoming 40. Nice. Pregnant on her 40th birthday. Great job, Cassie. Oh, look at Angela. She's actually being very good. <gasps> she's eating apple pancakes. Look, she's eating apple pancakes. She's gonna have a boy. And she wanted to have a boy too. I'm gonna lock that in. Let's see what Daniel wants. Daniel, head empty, no thoughts. <laughs> He wants to buy a dryer. That's what he wants to do. Okay, we can buy a dryer. I guess he doesn't want a washer mis machine, just a dryer. He just wants a dryer, guys. That's all he wants. Uh, I was gonna say that, yeah, the Cyclone Sword Legacy, interesting. Should I should I run a prediction in here? I'll get it up. Yes, can predict if Cassie's gonna have a boy. Well, no, wait, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> I just forgot that I said this. She just ate pancakes. You guys are trying to trick me. <laughs> You seem in happier spirits today? Yes. I'm, I feel better mentally, but physically, feeling a little, feeling a little sick physically, but I'm, I'm good. I'll get through it. Um, why can I, there's nowhere to put this toilet. Okay. I can't believe I forgot that. I literally just said two seconds ago that she's gonna have a boy. <laughs> and then I, you guys almost tricked me. I'm stupid. See, this is what I'm saying. I'm just, I, I feel kind of ill. So my mind is like kind of foggy. I apologize. Okay. All right, Cassie, she's going to have a big party tonight. Aging up to being 40 is a big number, you know? So we're going to throw it at her little house with all her babies crying. Maybe we should hire a babysitter or a nanny. Maybe, maybe the present that Daniel gets her for her birthday is a, a butler. I don't like the butlers in The Sims 3 because you have to have them sleep at your house and I just don't have the space to do that. I'm sorry, I just don't. I have no space in this place. Um, uh, uh what am I, user created? I'm, I'm confused. Let me start my reach shade so I can see this menu properly. Are these all townies? These are all the townies in the game. Okay, I clicked the wrong thing then. Yeah, I don't want this. That's not what I want. Sims 3 without reshade jump scare. Cassie's vomiting. Why is she vomiting? She's already got her bump. Can she grow up being pregnant? I'm not sure if you can natively in the Sims 3, but yes. Don't worry, I will make it happen. If she can't, then I will make it happen, okay? <laughs> Cassie, I think it's a boy. Daniel, we need a dryer in this house. <gasps> Daniel wants to have a girl. Look at that. Okay, now he has a preference. Oh my gosh, please, please take care of this child. No, Angela. Oh, okay, wait, you did. Never mind. sorry. Sorry, Angela. Please take care of these kids. Oh my God, Cassie. Stop, stop, stop. I hate when they crowd around the baby, like they're all trying to access the baby at the same time. Makes me so mad. All right, we're gonna throw a, a party tonight. Cassie's big birthday bash. Morals. 
We're gonna do Pleasant View V2. And this should be all the residents. Let's go to... <laughs> Patrika says, Angela is kind of thick. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna go to 4 p.m. Casual attire. Let's just do friends of the family. Alexander, Mortimer, Dina. Oh, wait, that's weird. Dina, because she was hooking up with Daniel. That Oh, but I don't think Cassandra would know that, so it's whatever. All right, let's see what else we got. Who else can we invite? Oh, wow. I forgot Cassie and Darren hate each other. That's sad. Let's invite uh, Lilith, of course. We, we're not going to invite Dirk because Cassandra does not like Dirk because Dirk was picking on her younger brother, Alexander. So we don't we don't like that. Let's invite Brandy. Why not? And Connor, because I like Connor and Jen and John, because that's obviously Daniel's brother in law and sister. Morty and Brandy. Yeah, we'll invite them. OK, so that'll be our little party. Let's take Connor off there. I don't I'm, I'm hesitant because the more Sims I pull to this lot, the higher chance I have for a crash to desktop. So I'm going to save. I'm going to turn my reshade back on too. And I'm going to save quickly here. We don't want any uh, crashing to desktop. It's not really even a crash to desktop I get with The Sims 3. It's more of just like my game closes without a, a crash warning at all, which is my game essentially running out of memory. So that kind of sucks, but it's okay. Make her eat one watermelon and she'll be 50% again. Should I? I kind of like the idea of it like being kind of left up to the pancakes. <laughs> the pancakes. Okay, I'm going to have... Cassie, take care of her son. I have forgotten since I've been switching households how annoying it is, truly. That, oh, Harry got reset. Hmm, okay. She looks fine to me. Daniel, stop. Daniel literally only takes care of his sons. He does not take care of any of his other children. He's very picky and choosy. She made the apple pancakes on her own. She literally did, like she knew. You know, there's watermelons in this fridge as well. There's there's everything in this fridge. Look how much groceries we got. We got grapes and watermelons and wonder petals. I don't know what that is. Pumpkins? She can make pumpkin pancakes. She can make carrot pancakes. But she specifically picked the apples out of everything. So that's that's saying something, right? Daniel wants a girl so he doesn't have to take care of them. No, literally. Literally. Oh my god, that's funny. Okay, let's get let's get Angela out on her own. I kind of want to change her her pajamas because um, I mean, look what she's wearing in front of her whole family. Uh, I don't think that that <laughs> I don't think she'd be wearing that. But OK, let me just change her quickly here. My hard drive ran out of memory while playing The Sims 4 once. It was so scary. Everything was a blank default textured. Everything was halfway loading. Oh, that's bizarre. Something like that. No, I'm just kidding. Let's do like maybe a, a moo moo. How about a moo moo? I need me a moo moo, honestly. I kind of love them. I mean, it's just so breezy. You know, you feel you you feel so free. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't the cast lighting mod so bright? I have seen Life by You is postponed. Yes, I I did see that. I'm glad actually that I got postponed because. The graphics, while I understood the game wasn't out yet, they did look rough. I even said that in my Life by You video. I was like, the UI, you need some tightening up. And that game was supposed to be released in two months, and it was looking like that. So it definitely needed some some uh, extra time, which I'm completely fine with. Actually, I applaud the transparency. I do applaud the transparency that um is going on with Life by You team, so... Where did you download your reshade? So you can get it from reshade.me, uh, but we need what what you need to know about reshade.me is that I mean it is the official reshade source, so don't think it's like anything fishy is going on. Um, after a while, your cinematic mode, which if you're wondering what that is, it's it's this, it's the blurry background so when you can take photos. Actually, this is a really cute photo. Hold on, <laughs> that was unintentionally a cute photo. It will stop working because reshade has a built-in functionality to switch off oh my lighting mod did y'all see that my lighting mod like changed very abruptly there that was weird reshade has a built-in functionality called depth 
depth buffer. I have a video coming out about this if you are interested in hearing more, but the depth buffer will turn off when it detects internet connectivity with your game. And Sims 3, believe it or not, does have internet connectivity. It has the whole exchange um, and um, Sims 3 store aspect. So at some point in your playthrough, your background will stop being blurry. This this function right here, the blurriness, will stop working. You have to download a modded version that doesn't automatically switch off that, that feature. So I have a, I have a video coming out if you want to wait for it, but otherwise, um, Riche.me is the official release. Most presets for Sims 3 run on ver Riche version 4.9.1, so let's go out of your way to download the right version and shaders for it. I have, um, mine is version, what is my version? Let's see. My version is 5.2.2. If you see it says unofficial, I have unofficial because I have the version that is modded so it doesn't switch off that depth buffer feature when it detects internet connectivity but i use 5.2.2 and with daydream and it works perfectly fine yeah or you can just get the 4.9.1 version but i ha i've had no problems i mean i might just be an outlier in that circumstance oh my gosh they just woohooed birthday woohoo birthday woohoo Okay, Elizabeth's gonna go take care of her siblings, I think. Yep, they are. Are they gonna, f oh my gosh, Cassie, please take care of your kids. I think the good thing about reshade is most of those presets are backwards compatible, so, or forwards compatible. So if you have a reshade preset that's version made on version point four point nine point one, and you have version 5.2.2 like me, I actually think it'll work fine. I think most of them are, are compatible. Hi, Sammy. Oh, it, you're dreading your soon-to-be birthday. Yeah, at least she can't get pregnant from the Woohoo. I do appreciate all the help that these kids are giving. Maybe that's why Cassie has so many babies. Is so that's oh, okay. We have our first we have our first birthday guest here. It's Dina and Lilith. The Angela. Oh, Angela still hates her sister. Okay, they're old enemies though. So maybe there's a maybe there's a bridge that could be mended there. I don't know. Nope, don't put Iris in there. Put her over here. Who's in the glasses? This right here, this is Elizabeth. This is Cassie and Dawn's daughter. Plus an asshole looks like a daycare, it does. Okay, so we have a little birthday. Oh, Jen is grabbing some apple pancakes. So Jen will also be having a, a boy. I think she's pregnant, right? Jen is... Oh, she's not pregnant. Okay. Yeah, she's not pregnant. Thank God. Uh, we're having a lot of boys in Pleasant View. Actually, Jen has only had boys, I do believe, right? She has only had boys, right? Correct? Yeah, she has only had boys. Look, Carson, Finn, Connor. Lucy was obviously pre-made so that she doesn't count because she was made, you know, in, in Creative Sim. But Jen has uh, gotten lots of boys. Isn't it weird that this is considered the Pleasant household? It is very weird. I agree with you. Okay, Darren's here. Let's go and chat with Darren. I don't know. Just go introduce yourself. Okay, can you put your child like... Oh my gosh. This, this is becoming a mess. I should have locked the baby nurseries because... <laughs> we're going to have so many kids just everywhere. All right, let's buy a little birthday cake. Birthday high tea tomorrow. Well, happy early birthday, Sammy. Let me buy a little birthday cake for Miss Cassandra. Let me see if I can have her even blow out the candles. Um, she cannot because she's pregnant. So I'm gonna have to use. I think trigger AIDS transition will work. Yeah, it will. I think. There it says sup. Why is your phone ringing incessantly? Please answer. Is Alexander already leaving? He is. Oh my gosh. Darren is feuding with this teenager back here. Love that for him. Cassie's like eating the apple pancakes like it's no one's business. Okay, so this nice party, we're gonna age her up now. I'm just gonna do trigger age transition. I think this will work even though she's pregnant. I hope so. Looking like it's not working. I may have to pause her. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea if this doesn't work. I'm gonna go to Enros. I'm gonna go to Baby. 
baby. I'm going to... No. There's a way... Oh, shoot. I should have had Seymour pregnancy controller because I, I could pause her pregnancy. And then redo it because I kind of like... I like them when they age up with the birthday cake, but that's okay. I wish I knew how many hours she's pregnant. See, this is the downside. I deleted Seymour pregnancy controller and I'm really regretting it right now. Also, bye, Twitches and Ticks. Have a nice sleep. Oh, pregnancy. Pause right there. Yes, let's go. Okay, now I think I can use the cake. No, the game is still viewing her as pregnant. Damn you, game. Okay, how about trying trigger AIDS transition again? No, it doesn't work. Hmm. We're just going to end it. I'm going to just get her re-pregnant. How about that? How about that? That's that's what this has come to. What was the under was on our basic? Because I really want like the cute little screenshots and stuff. And that. Uh, okay, there we go. Now she can age up by a cake. Yeah, it, it makes like the pregnancy. They could be the pregnancy could be paused for eons and it wouldn't do anything. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm not going to be able to get a photo because the stupid cabinet is in the way. There we go. Okay, Daniel's like not attending Cassie's birthday, I guess. Anyway, here we are. Happy birthday, Cassie. I like how Jen is the one going, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> it's so cute. Yay. He seems to be happy. Even Daniel's here, which is rare. And Angela in her underwear. Lizzie says, oh my god, I hate Cassie's face. <laughs> Here we go. Happy birthday, Cassie. You're an old lady. Oh my gosh, that hair. She ages up to an adult and she wants short hair. No, literally, Angela is always in her underwear. <laughs> I'm gonna immediately get Cassie pregnant again so we can have the we can have her um what's it called? Her baby timer going yeah that's what i meant to say uh is it under intermediate there's so many options i feel like this should have just been one button oh pollinate partner pollinate there we go can i advance her pregnancy with enrolls too that'd be nice i don't think so right pregnancy no it's only end and pause so we'll have to wait for her nausea again which is fine i mean i'm not i'm not pining for cassie to give birth so I think Cassie is going to have apple pancakes again because they're just sitting here. So when I pan off of them, I'm sure she'll have a boy. The next time in town that um, gets pregnant, though, I will do a prediction for it. Don't worry. Somebody Chris Jenner with her 100 kids. She looks like Chris Jenner. Pick up with the pleasants, true. I do like the short hair. I'm going to keep it on her, actually. Oh, it looks like everyone's leaving, so. All right, everyone's having cake. I mean, that was a nice party. We had a lot of our town members here and stuff. Daniel taking care of his daughter. Nice. I am kind of wanting people to leave because this is very annoying. That everyone's, like, crowding. Oh, my goodness. Some doors may need to be locked. I'm starting to think some doors in this game may need to be locked because, oh, Lucy's taking care of... What would that be? Her cousin, maybe? Is that your cousin? Yes, it's your cousin. Yeah, Angela's in her underwear per usual. Okay, so who's next on our list to play? I assume it's going to be Nina, maybe? One of the Caliente sisters? Darren is in a horrible mood. When are Herb and Coral dying? That's my question. Because how are they still alive is, is what I'm wondering. Like, they have got to be super overdue. Maybe we play them until... <laughs> Maybe we play them until uh, they die. Because this is crazy. Like, I've never had them have have had Coral and Herb live for this long. Play them until they die. Maybe they're not dying because I'm not on them. Maybe that's why. Okay, we're here. They're flirting with each other. Okay, I think what's going to be most interesting about this rotation is Kaylin, because Kaylin's their living 
nurse so you can play a little bit of Kaylin if y'all want i did give her a makeover in the last stream like towards the middle of it um so here's what Kaylin looks like now i think she stuns she is just stunning really cute i like her kind of homage to her maid outfit that i did with her you know heels and black and white sort of get up she has on <clears throat> Coral and Herb are immortal. Have her and Dan have babies. Who's Dan? Dan. Oh, Daniel. I never called him Dan. <laughs> I just call him Daniel. Dan like threw me for a loop. Coral and Herb are immortal. I'm starting to think that too. It's funny. Isn't Coral still alive in Pleasant View 2 point? I don't remember. I don't think so. Wish I had her living with... No, she's not. She was though for a minute. She did outlive herb which i think is pretty pretty normal for her to outlive her hydration thank you oh my goodness look at them oh that is so cute hold on you know i'm not too fond of playing the oldies or anything like that i think they're really boring to play but this is just so cute look at them they just did this all by themselves so I hear that movie that's going on in, at the theater. It's crazy. What is that? Is that someone running? It's like breathy. Listen to listen to the movie and the rabbit hole behind them. It's breathy and it's like footsteps. But anyway, <laughs> this is cute. This is really cute. I like that they did that just all by themselves. Yeah, it must be like a horror movie or something. What is that? Oh, Lord. Okay, we're going to have everyone go home. Everyone go home. Come on, come on. 109 years old and the relationship is still kicking. <laughs> it's like it's like a picture, you know, you put a picture in and it's the meme. A love like this. <laughs> I wonder how old they are. They are. So Herb is seven days overdue. 102 days old. Coral is minus six days overdue. 100 years old or 100 days old. Which is crazy. Like absolutely crazy. And they're both still working too, which is I think is even more wild. Kaylin waiting for them to die so she can get a free dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know Kaylin's so annoyed. Look at this. She's just in here asleep. And Coral's just banging on the computer all right coral time for bed it was time it was past your bedtime like five some hours ago let's be real we do need oh <gasps> lucy lucy what are you doing lucy verve and don lothario have started dating well we know from the last stream that lucy has been a bad girl she's been vandalizing the town with graffiti so i guess she likes bad boy don lothario and i swear if she gets pregnant with his baby i'm gonna lose my mind i'm gonna lose my mind yeah i i i don't know what to say about that <laughs> i'm gonna lose it if she gets pregnant by that man please get a job stay away from her <laughs> i don't want that i really i really just i don't i don't I can't yeah I that's 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 not that's not a couple well, I said this in the last stream but I'll say it again these pairings we have gotten in this pleasant view are some of the most like unique like I, I, I don't know I always pair up Lucy with Alexander so when I see Lucy getting with Dawn it's like a major question mark for me you know what I mean <clears throat> now she's lucy lothario oh my gosh hi kawaii okay, i'm gonna have the doggy go sleep in there i'm gonna save my game too <clears throat> very weird pairing very weird pairing she is bad girl though i've never played lucy in this way like having her vandalize the town or get arrested and things like that I can redeem a risky between them, but I won't put us in that trauma. <laughs> All right. 
Kaylin's room. Kaylin is just pining for that double bed. I know it. Does Kaylin have any love going on? Of course she has Dawn. Of course she has Daniel. Not really anybody else though. Their baby could be really cute though. <laughs> no comment. Of course, Brandy and Morty are loving each other. It's so weird to think that Brandy's as old as Morty is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they're they're dating. I agree, this plus we has some of the most interesting pairs in the Sims 3 game. I think the weirdest one for me was Dina and Darren. That just seems like they wouldn't even know each other or like run in the same circles. Like I can't even wrap my mind around how they would know each other. I'm also gonna put Kaylin in like a different outfit because what I really want her to have is um I want her to have like an outfit that's like kind of sultry. I don't know. Caitlyn gives me sultry vibes, like something like this. What she was wearing before is fine, but this seems more like her her kind of outfit. <clears throat> Cassie and Cassie and Darren is weirdest for me. Cassie and Darren. I feel like Cassie and Darren's pretty normal. Okay, Kaylin's carpool is coming in an hour. I need to stock this fridge. Kaylin's foxy. She is foxy. I like her, but uh, be looking at her. <laughs> He's like, Kaylin, I, I I need help in the bathroom. Kaylin, can you can you come and help me? <laughs> like, kind of creepy. Kind of creepy towards his livid nurse. I don't know. I'm gonna also put that in her inventory. I don't know why we have a pink computer here, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm here for it. <clears throat> so she's gonna go to work in an hour but we can just say maybe she has to run to the maybe she has to run to the hospital i know that you know for storyline purposes she's a, their live-in maid but or their live-in uh nurse but i do send her to the organ she's an organ donor at the hospital so she's just gonna go oh my goodness all right we have lots of carpools happening right now none of them got to eat which is kind of sad but that's fine Herb would definitely, yeah, he's, he just gives me weird. He just gives me weird vibes, Herb. The old man impression. <laughs> I work, I worked eight years in, in home healthcare and creepy old, ew, I hated it. Why does Caitlin give Bella vibes in that? She's summoning Bella vibes. She's summoning Bella. I kind of want Herb and Coral um, to be retired because this is just having them go to work every day feels weird to me. I don't know why they're not dying. Donate those organs. It's so funny, like the names for the positions and stuff. Organ donor. I think the, I think the, what's it called? Let me, let's look at some of the other names for these positions and stuff. Let's see. What are some of the other ones? I'm trying to think. I think the I think the evil career, the criminal. Why did I say evil? <laughs> I know like the top level of the criminal career is like Emperor of Evil, which I think is pretty funny. It's so like super villain. I love it. Let's see. Um, Lucy. What is this? Oh, these are all the these are the names for the stylist career. So we have Fashion Fledgling. We have Tafita Trainee. What's that polka dot specialist like that's that's a funny one hounds tooth soothsayer i don't know i don't know what that's alluding to trendsetter in training in vogue virtuoso or virtuoso depending on how you say that hot hot shot then we have couture connoisseur fashionista which is pretty standard and fashion phenomenon oh hounds tooth is a patter okay that's really clever then. That's a really clever name. Yeah, those are just like, you know, I love the the career positions and stuff. They're funny. Okay, so what do we have? Brandy, no, that's that's not Brandy. She just has Brandy's hair. You stole Brandy's whole look. I need to get some more default replacements. Where's Lucy going? Lucy is going shopping. Where are you going shopping with your thousand simoleons and your million kids that your parents have? Where do you think you're going? I think I'm gonna retire Herb and Coral because this is just stupid. Having them go to a job every day for what? For Kaylin to get all their fortune? Like, let's be real. We may have to just kill them off because 
how they've lived this long i have no idea no idea oh my lighting mod just flickered off i don't know why it keeps doing that i've never had this problem before i think it's acclimating to whatever the weather is if i am correct all right herb just got done with work you see what i mean i'm speed reading so hard right now because i just hate playing old elders <laughs> i hate playing the oldies but i hate playing elders too Mally, thank you for the gift of eating. We appreciate it. Are they gonna woohoo? Oh my gosh, no way. Urban Coral are in love, and I respect it. Schooled for, oh no, praise for being non destructive. I know Herb's co workers are tired of his ass. I would imagine, yeah. Can we teach him tricks? Let's teach him to sit down. Yeah, Mally's, Mally's, Mally's been repping my stream for a long time. Thank you for the gift to Kawaii, Mally. What lighting mod do you use if you don't mind me asking? It is Burnt Waffles Frozen Lighting Mod. I love his stars. I don't know. This is like a randomly generated dog, but he's so cute, isn't he? Muskrat must be subbed. <laughs> Now, now Kawaii gets to use the emotes that she literally drew for me. <laughs> she gets to use them. That's, that's ironic. Thank you, CJ. I will save. I appreciate it. Not the stream thumbnail being her, but walking gently to work and Maddie just smiling. <laughs> it's me manifesting death for him. I'm sorry, but I hate that. How have they not died? There's got to be... Maybe one of my settings is messed up. No, there's no way because... If a setting was messed up, they wouldn't be gaining days. And they're gaining days. They're actively gaining days, these two elders. So I don't understand. Let me see. Let's let's check again. All right. Yeah, he's 102 days old. So if my age was messed up, it would say never. It would say never age, never aging or something like that. You know, when you play vampires in Sims 3, how it says they never age, it wouldn't be saying they're, they're how old they are, basically. Okay, whatever. I guess we're just waiting for these two to die. I like how they just woohooed. They're going to take a shower and a bath. That is so... That is so funny. Coral's the one in the shower. Herb's the one in the bath. I don't know what I make of that, but, you know, whatever. Kill them. I'm sure... I'm sure Kaylin's thinking about it. She's gonna, like, make dinner for them and, like, put something in the food. <laughs> that would be such a... I'm sorry to say, but that would be such a fun arc to play, like... Kaylin murder era so she can get the house and the dog. Come on. She's like black widowing a little bit. <laughs> Kaylin's a murderer. I don't know how I would do that with... I want her to like get the memory of like murdering them, but... Oh, he just... <gasps> he just brought in the newspaper. That is so cute. You are such a good dog. Oh, being loyal. That was so cute. Y'all see him drop that newspaper right by Kaylin's feet? Know how he did not drop it by the oldie's feet. He dropped it by Kaylin's feet. Kaylin's feet. It was Kaylin's feet. Not them woohooing back here. They are so bored. They just... Oh my... Is there... No way. Really, game? I turned off zombies and this is what I get. This is the mother of that kid that moved in with, with Daniel. <laughs> She's getting revenge for me kicking them out. Okay, let's just praise this doggy. Even the dog just the memo that, or gets the memo that the oldies gotta go, yeah. Disable moon phases, but I like the moon phases. I like what it does to light the world. I think it's cute. I mean, it's not really been doing anything, but I actually have a mod that makes it so babies born on the full moon will be supernaturals. That's why I have the moon phases on. Now, I did disable zombies, but they're still aging. I don't know. Or they're still coming up. I don't know. Also, Finn Burb just aged up. Let's take a look at him. I said aging because I saw that Finn aged up. Yeah. Exclamation point babies. There's a mod if anyone wants to check it out. It's called Supernatural Babies. He's cute. They all, like I said, all the Burb boys. This is a different Burb boy. This is not Connor. This is his younger brother, Finn. They have the same face. It's so weird. Like, look. Look at his face. He has the same face as his brother and they're like not even twins or anything it's 
clone face. It is clone face. His face is so Sims 2, I can't explain it. His hair is glossy. Well, welcome to The Sims 3. <laughs> Caitlin's researching ways how to murder somebody with food. <laughs> oh, Caitlin, I love you. Isn't there like a spell or an elixir you can use to kill Sims? I don't remember. Or you can have them um, by the jelly bean tree, right? And they can... Why is there cat stuff? Oh, I should delete that, right? Uh, that is from Cassandra's cat that used to live here. I gotta delete that. I forgot to do that. She's sick of giving her sponge baths. <laughs> That's so true. Oh my gosh, these two, they have... They don't do anything but woohoo. Oh, Dustin and Nina is so weird. Turn Herb and Coral into the gold statues from Supernatural. Is that a thing? Wait, how do you do that, Sammy? Is that a witch spell or is that an elixir thing? They just are... Okay. Kissing in a field. Were they kissing in a field? I didn't even look at what they were doing. Where were they? Oh, they're, they're, <laughs> they're at Dustin's house. Can we guess? Nina's like, I've been here one or two times. <laughs> oh no, she's walking past. See, they're neighbors. That's the thing. She has easy access and he has easy access. That's probably why they're dating each other. Oh, 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 we're from, oh, okay, the game crashed. We just saved though, so I'm okay. <laughs> we just saved. <laughs> game crashed. All right, there's crash number one. We get a game crash in uh, chat. Thank you. Let me reopen this. Actually, before we do that, Let's do a little regal save cleaner. Yeah, what happened is my game ran out of memory. Happens. Happens when you use NRO story progression, but I can't play without it. I'm gonna quickly do a regal save cleaner just to make sure that my game is running okay. Okay, let's let's get this. Let's see how much data this deletes, right? Let me go over to or is it PV1? Is it PV1? PV1 is what I named it. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do... These three are fine. We're gonna start cleaning. Okay, so remove 26%. Old size was 72 megabyte. New size, 53 megabyte. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. Does the updated version work better? I don't think so. I just have the updated version because I think I wiped my computer a while ago and I needed to reinstall it. So I think it works about the same, honestly. I'm glad we just saved though. Do, do. We should play The Sims 1 one time or some. We should play The Sims 1 sometime. I said we should play The Sims 1 one time. Just one time. We're only going to play it one time. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the older version, I think it, it just does the same same thing, honestly. Um, I mean, I, I guess it can't hurt having the newer version, right? I've never seen someone play The Sims 1. I have played The Sims 1 on PC for probably less than an hour total in my whole life. I played The Sims 1 on console, but never on the PC. The console port of The Sims 1, I gotta tell you all about this, it is not your traditional Sims game. It has a story built in, which is so weird to think about. Like, we all know The Sims because it's like a free simulation game. You know, you do whatever you want. But um, yeah, not The Sims 1 on PlayStation 2. It's very like story based and you have like objectives. It's it's really interesting. Sims 1 on PS, it is incredibly hard. That game is incredibly hard. It's gotta be the hardest console port I've ever played of a Sims game. I'm serious. The Sims 1 on PlayStation 2, if you want a challenge, super hard to play. You're digging that launch screen? It's because of a uh, clean UI. Yeah. I played The Sims 1 before I could read. Needless to say, I accidentally killed many Sims in stupid ways. Irritable, <laughs> irritable bowel. That is literally should be my name. I just one bowel. <laughs> um, I love PlayStation 2 Sims 1. It is good. I should play it. It is a really hard game. Like the objectives are so hard, so hard. For no reason either it's like so i nobody talks about it 
and i grew up playing that game like so many times i was probably about six seven years old playing the sims 1 on playstation 2 and it was such a hard game like if i replayed it nowadays i don't i generally don't know if i could beat it without focusing all my attention the what if you're wondering like why is it so hard how could how could a simulation game be hard you have there's this one i remember it so vividly you are living in one of the land grabs like malcolm land grabs house um and you have to clean the entire house but meanwhile you're you get one sim day or like a couple sim days to do it but meanwhile your sim is struggling to pay the bills have to go to work every day and you have another roommate named dudley who is destroy actively destroying the house without cleaning up after themselves at all and you have like two sim days to do all this stuff so if you're wondering why i'm saying it's super hard that is why like it is you get a super small time frame to do it and yeah dudley and mimi yep dudley and mimi from playstation 2 sims 1 it is if you if you're like oh that can't be hard go and download an emulator and play it for yourself it is so difficult <laughs> i was like i was like six years old struggling to play that game i beat it like a couple of times i think but i cannot believe i, I don't think i could redo it now because you have to be super calculated with how you play that game you, you're every every minute of playing that game you have to be focusing and doing what you're doing deliberately yeah dudley land grab is that oh wait is that whoa sammy you just made a connection for me there is that dudley in that game johnny zest are you serious is that the same one i was playing with johnny zest when i was like six years old whoa whoa sammy that connection you just made there what i don't think it's confirmed with the cool head oh is it it's not confirmed oh i always do it because it lines up um yeah dudley and mimi that's who i'm talking about sims 2 playstation 1 or sims 1 play <laughs> wait sims 1 on playstation 2 go check it out it is a hard game if you're in for a challenge it's a really good game caitlin wants to get a hot sub that is so funny why can these two oldies not die I think oh what was that what was that what was that noise what was that oh it's herb stupid herb oh shiba learned to sit good job shiba was nina getting with alexander yeah i'm not surprised i i'm interested we haven't checked on her in a while let me see how many romantic interests she has i'm very interested to see what she's been up to let's see I'm surprised she has only had one child. She only has Donnie. Oh my God, y'all look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at her list. Don, Daniel, Clifton, Darren, Alexander, and previously Mortimer, and Dustin. My goodness. She, she probably could complete this lifetime wish, honestly she is a town bike she is she is the town bike i can't you know can't be mad <laughs> why can't they just die coral and her boo wait were cassie and were cassie and daniel arguing did i miss that oh donnie's like out past his curfew we should we should pay a little bit more attention to the teens here there could be something interesting going on <gasps> Donnie's best friends with Finn Burb. Oh, that is so cute. That is so, I love that the teens have like friends and stuff around town. That is adorable. That is really adorable. I love that. Oh. Uh, let me see what Finn's sexuality was. He's bi curious. I think the only other, I'm trying to think. I think Bo, off the top of my head, he's the only gay sim in town. Maybe there's some, might be some townies. We, we just have to wait for more sims to age up, I think. Donnie is straight, I believe. Yeah, he's straight. Connor is bi, too. I think he was bi curious, yeah. It appears the local bike's antics have come, have come to some good. It seems Lucy, Burb, and Lilith Dreamer have been bonding. 
on their oh they're talking about nina lucy and and lilith hate nina because she's a town bike <laughs> that's really funny actually oh nina's going to hug her sister that's random it's like i really need a hug right now i've had a bad day the bear brothers are so cute even though they look the same they they are they're cute okay here's one option obviously i'm gonna have to renovate it but i'll do that off stream because i hate renovating i feel like i'm under pressure when i'm renovating on stream <laughs> how is dina i don't know how dina has not gotten married she was making moves on darren uh but now she hates him and she hates morty so her next choice here is alexander which is really uncomfortable because that is her ex ex mortar you know mortimer son um i don't know but he is very rich i mean he's living alone in this giant mansion so he's 161,000 net worth yep seems about right for her <laughs> call the police on her for that one honestly yeah but here's the other option for the caliente sisters this place is nice very big i will have to also renovate this one so it's like eh but i feel like this is very classy like this is very classy in my sims 2 game alexander lives here with his wife uh, melody tinker so it's cute it's a nice house for them i don't know how much it is stepson storyline true it's sixty thousand. i think we can afford that actually if they sell this house let me i'm gonna have dina go to her phone and oh we're having zombies love that for me i guess i set up the what's it called the uh no zombies thingy wrong with enrolls oh my lord okay so this house is oh i think we'll have just enough oh we're short three thousand simoleons no we're short 3k simoleons for buying that house i also have to remember oh maybe they'll have family objects oh they have a lot let's sell all these anything i need no i think so Maybe this will get us enough money to... Oh, okay. That gave us like 4,000 more. So I think we can move now. I just want a bigger place for them because we need to get a bigger place. Yeah, we'll have like 1K. <laughs> it's really bad. We will literally have 1K to furnish this whole house with. Praying for us, y'all. Praying for us. Okay. All right. We're moving out of the Caliente house. I'm sad to say, everyone, but... We've outgrown it for sure. Nina has a baby. Nina has a son. Nina's, Nina was a young mom, wasn't she? They have a cat too, named Pepper. Oh, <gasps> Pepper, whoa. This may be the biggest plot twist yet. Pepper is married to Carrie. Okay, Carrie is Cassandra's cat. Pepper is the Caliente cat. There's cat drama. Not only is there regular drama in this game. Oh, Pepper just fell up there. There's also cat drama in this town. Not only sim drama, cat drama. The cats can get married. Yeah, they can. Nina and Dina would definitely have influencers. I feel like it'd be Dina. Dina's like a stylist, you know? Yeah, even the cats in this town have tea. Can we believe it? Crazy. The tea does not stop at Sims. It carries into their cats. Get it? Carrie, because the cat's name is Carrie. <laughs> Love that. The game always takes so long after you do a Regal Sleep Cleaner. It's a save. We're going to be here for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Sammy, thank you for five months. Thank you. Can't believe I'm here for all the kitty TRT game, George. The kitty tea. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> there we go. Rego Save Cleaner, I wonder what it does to make the game take so long to save afterwards. I really do wonder. Maybe it's probably a, a, a thing with different file sizes. Oh my lord. Where is this zombie going? I hated that they did this. This is one of the most annoying things about The Sims 3 for me is this right here. This zombie stuff it seems just like a different game like it shouldn't be in the sims 3 i don't know <laughs> okay let's furnish this a little bit oh for some reason we have 11k where do we get that from run go run she was running oh <gasps> dustin and angela are back together oh and dina wants to get married this is perfect who are you gonna marry 
I honestly feel like Alexander, I'm sorry to say, I know it's just really gross, but Alexander seems to be the best option here. Ugh, I don't even want to say that, but she wants to marry a rich sim, so it's like... Oh my god, can we? Oh, thank you. I couldn't get in build by. Yeah, the ex sun step line is, uh, or plot line. Step line? Why did I say step line? All right, I'm gonna open this wall up. So this is what I did in The Sims 2 as well, as I opened this entire room up. Why is this arch a different color? Oh my lord. Please. Are all the arches that color? Oh, why was that one brown? That's weird. Okay. All right, let's get some cribs. That's like the biggest thing here is we need cribs. We need... Okay, so none of these rooms can fit a double bed. <laughs> uh, what? Why? Why? Why did EA do this? None of these rooms can fit a double bed. That seems like a little bit of an oversight. Um. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna have to do some renovating. Yeah, a little bit of claustrophobia, but I'm going to bulldoze that wall. And that it seems like they did not play test this house but you know what that's fine you can place the stairs with spiral staircase if you're ever what about an elevator <laughs> i'm gonna bump out this wall just to hear it's this house i don't know if they're gonna have enough money to do it but uh it needs like a new floor floor, floor hmm. i'm gonna try and say that word again floor plan it needs a new floor plan that and then what did i do before this house needs a new house this house is i actually like this house i do but it's a little bit i don't know i did the same thing in the sims 2 though i did what i'm doing right now they could have made it bigger they could have made this house bigger but they just didn't yeah there's a pretty large bathroom taking up space too that's true Oh my gosh, I hate this thing with the windows. You see how you can put this window? Like, this is the wrong way. This is the right way, because it has that detail on the top. I hate that The Sims 3 doesn't, like, intuitively just put the outside of the window automatically on the outside. You have to fit it yourself. I might put, like, a little balcony right here, actually. I think I, I, think I can do that, right? Just put a little balcony. It's going to be tiny. Like that. Actually, I'm gonna put this raw iron fence. This one. Oops. Okay. I'm gonna put a uh, window. Oh my gosh, this drives me nuts. It's on tiles. Ugh, I need a three tile window. Ooh, perfect. Actually, wait a sec. Oh, I'm just gonna do this one from Supernatural. Perfect. It kind of goes with like the aesthetic of the house too because it's like old fashioned. I don't know. Unpopular opinion, but I love building The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 maybe because I'm old school, but I find The Sims 2 and Sims 3 building tools easier. Yes, that is definitely an unpopular opinion right there. <laughs> that may be the most unpopular opinion of all unpopular opinions, to be honest. Oh, this is a mess. This house is an absolute mess. It's gonna, I'm just like looking at it and just trying to see what I can do now that won't take up too much time because I do want to make sure that we get in some gameplay and I'm not spending like a year and a half in built by, but definitely needs a roof first and foremost. So let's get that on the top of this. And you know what? Uh, I was going to say I'm going to do auto roof because I'm feeling lazy, but I really don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm just going to do these kind of roofs. Okay, all right, that looks good. And then what else do we need? Some beds. I wanna play Sims 3, but I think if I try to open up Sims 3 with my browser open, my computer will straight up explode. Time to give plastic surgery to all four of the Pleasants. I could bump this bathroom back here. Hold on. I might have come across something and then 
Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to like see what I can do. This is not it's not gonna work. Yeah, I'm gonna put the furniture back. I'll have to figure something out. Anyway, for now, I'm just gonna put down some cribs and a bedroom for Donnie. Donnie can actually have like this bedroom back here because this one's fine. Let's see his favorite color. I don't know why when I mouse over this, it, like turns it dark. That'd be something to do with reshade, I think. I wasn't doing it a while ago. All right, Donnie, what's your favorite color, my boy? He likes, oh right, spice brown. How could I forget? I can see the perfect layout in my mind. I want to grab the mouse and do it. I'm, I'm going to swap around that bathroom and that bedroom back there. Like this bathroom with this bedroom. Spice brown sweep. Am I going to give him a spice brown room? That's the question. Probably because I like to respect my Sims' favorite colors. I'm also a fan of cast sliders that like the clay like push and pull in Sims 4 in, in cast. Took me multiple uh took me multiple days to rebuild the houses and pleasant view i would download houses but there'd be lots a lot a lot of lots are 20 by 20. all right we're doing spice brown whatever we'll just do it why not oh that's the bed frame i didn't know that that was changing the bed frame <laughs> what is this comforter i put on here let's just let's just do something like that maddie favorite house in pleasant view i really like the pleasant house it's very cute it's very cute. Um, I also feel like the Pleasant House is something about it just it's comforting. Are there any houses for people you want me to build? Just ask, be more than happy. I would like to redo like a um, CC free version of Don Lothario's condo. Would be nice. Just like a re revamp. Because Dustin lives there now. So it would take me. I'm just so slow with building because I just don't I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, if you want to do that, Lizzie, that'd be great. I would really appreciate it. It would help me out. This house I'm gonna I'm gonna do, but I can just do it myself because I can I can build like off stream, but I feel pressure and I'm on stream to like commentate if that makes sense and also make it, the stream interesting. So I, my I said brother. Oh my lord, not my brother, <laughs> my boyfriend. <laughs> Definitely not my brother. Um, I was sh share screening my game like the other week. And he asked me, he was like, ooh, a checkerboard. I'm like, it's not a checkerboard. <laughs> Definitely not a checkerboard. I like this duck lamp. Seems very fitting. I don't know. Okay. This room is too cute for a teenage boy to have designed it, but it's okay. He thought it was, he thought, he literally thought it was a checkerboard. I'm like, okay, Malachi. Okay. What is Donnie's traits? Let's take a look. He likes 30. <laughs> he likes to be flirty, a mooch, commitment issues, and a workaholic. That gives me nothing. He's so innocent about Sims 3. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Uh, where am I going to put the baby room? So this is going to be put back here. I know that for, for certain. Are there any windows? Yeah, there's a window here I can grab. Oh my god, that was loud. Wait, this is a different window than the other one. What? Oh, these are different windows. Oh, that is going to drive me nuts. I got to grab the right window. He flirts with his co-workers. Big red flag. go i'm gonna drag this this there um see the thing okay we have an idea save okay hold on a second I can make this landing bigger and then we can make this room back here. Yes, this is exactly what I did in Alexander. I'm remembering it's coming back to me now. I did this so long ago though. My gosh, let me put this door somewhere, please. Thank you, game. Just drive me nuts. Actually, I think that room's a good size. 
Another door here. Oh my lord, please let me put the door down. It's there. And then this door goes over here. Okay, okay, it's coming along, it's coming along. That looks good. I'm gonna grab this. Actually, I like this wallpaper more. I'm gonna put that in this hallway. Oh my, I hate when my camera flings around, makes me, makes me ill. And this can be either Nino or Dina's room. I will save though, Christopher. Okay. And then where am I gonna put? Okay, I don't know where I'm gonna put. There's something's gotta change with this floor plan to allow that bedroom because I have to put in beds here. The house doesn't have to be furnished. It just needs beds. I gotta add pet stuff too because I think if I don't add pet stuff, they will actually move. Pretty sure that's why Coral and Herb moved with Kaylin down the street. All right, what else? What is this? I don't know how Daniel Pleasant juggles all those relationships. Comments in Alexander Goth. I mean, myself, I can only keep one satisfied, much less that many. I'm a little jealous is all. Not, not Alexander being jealous of his, what is that, brother-in-law? Yeah, his brother-in-law. <laughs> okay, Alexander, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna move this bathroom over here. Just ignore that there's carpet in the bathroom. Okay, we don't pay attention to that right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to move all this around. And I'm going to bulldoze this. And then this can either be a bathroom or this can be a bedroom for Dina or Nina. <laughs> this is real life. Alexander would be moments away from finding out about Andrew Tate. <laughs> he would be, I'm a little, I'm a little scared for, I'm a little scared for him to be honest. Okay, how is this looking everyone? Give me some, give me some feedback. This bedroom is a little big. I need to split it in half or make it smaller or something because this bedroom is way too big. I'm doing good, thank you. I need that, I need to hear that. We'll make this like a bedroom like this. Okay, perfect. Yes, okay, that looks good. Look at that, I did it. I did it. I'm gonna add some hardwood floors. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you. Let me, I was trying to take a little bow, but I realized you could not see the rest of my body, so it doesn't even matter. <sighs> Let's just add some wood planks through this house, make it look a little bit more cohesive and Change everything from carpet to wood. A cinema room or games room rich people things. <laughs> I'm just saying if, if Dina gets with Alexander, I am moving him in here, I think. Actually, maybe not because this house is kind of... No, I'm not redoing Alexander's room. Lizzie, if there is a house you want to redo, I need the house Alexander lives in to be changed and remodeled. It is, that is a huge house though. That is a huge, huge, huge house. So that would take like weeks. Don't you dare do me like that, <laughs> please. <laughs> that is the house that truly needs to be either demolished or redone or something of the sort. Cause there's no, there's no way I can do it. It would take literal weeks to, to redo that whole house. <laughs> Not me pushing it off on you. <laughs> hey, Lizzie, you did say you wanted to redo, you know, you said you would revamp stuff, so. <laughs> I should, I should just, I should just, you know, just demolish it. Cause the house is like cool. Like, you know, when we were all 10 years old, we moved our, Sims in there with cheats, but like, it's there's no way that that house is functional. It's no way. I mean, it's functional, but like, how are you gonna have a sim live there? Is what I mean. Okay, I'm doing the bare, bare minimum, bare basics with this house right now. Add a lamp in here, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call it for this one. There we go. And this one over here can be another one of the girls rooms oh shoot i just realized i need to add oh no this room cannot have a double bed <gasps> no it won't fit 
that just... Bathroom's gotta be smaller, I guess. Or, hold on. If I push this wall out. Oh, I have a brain blast. Brain blast. Bunk up bedtime. Well, this has to be one of either Nina or Dina's bed. Yeah. You just unlocked the core memory moving rich sims are with cheats. Same. Honestly, same. Do that. And then, oh, that's better. Okay. And then I think with this configuration, I, yep, I can have a double bed in here. <gasps> I can't! <laughs> This room is so small. Oh no. The other side of the bed is not accessible. I think they can get it in half tiles, right? I'll have to play test this room before I put the bed like this, but I don't know if they can get out get on get in on that half tile right there. I don't think they can. I'm praying, I'm hoping. It will work. Okay, I'm gonna do bye debug on. I'm gonna place down these lights. You can't do half dust. Fuck, no. Then the last resort is either I push this bed up against the wall or we make this bathroom smaller. I vote make the bathroom smaller. Maybe a half bath. No, because they need, they have a, like a brood of children. And no wood with the bed. Oh well, just put it like this. They can get, oh my, nothing works. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea, I have an idea. Half tile wall it is, or what is that? Diagonal wall, not half tile wall. I think actually, oh no, the door's there, shoot. Yeah, that works. <laughs> not the sink in the bedroom. <laughs> Um, shower only. Yeah, it's gonna wait. Shower only room. Maybe a shower instead of the tub. Oh, true. The stand up shower. That's true. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Yes, thank you, chat. Thank you. You guys are very helpful, actually. I've been building this house like in the dark. Why did I do that to myself? All right, we need some wallpaper in here. This one, because that's what I have. And I'm, oh my gosh, I'm down to 2,000 simoleons. Oh no, that's not good. When I went to a friend's house, her mom had a refrigerator in her room. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm sorry if y'all had to hear my neck crack there. It was bothering me. And that grosses you out, my neck crack. I apologize. I like, I like hearing neck crunches, honestly. Sounds like a piece of chocolate being bitten into. <laughs> Oddly specific for me to say. Okay. Remember about the roof. Oh shoot, did I change the layout? Oh no, the, the layout's fine. Um, oh, it has an overhang. I guess I did, I, get, I did change it. <laughs> Pasha check, thank you Izzy. That was, that was very uh, fitting. Actually, I think it's like, is it even? Oh, that the both sides are even. That's perfect. It's symmetrical. I did that like on accident. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so there is Nina and Dina's rough. It's very rough house. I'm gonna buy them a table. Alina, thank you. I appreciate it. I haven't seen you here in a minute, Alina. Maybe you just don't talk in chat. I don't know, but thank you. And some chairs. There we go. Just so they have somewhere to sit. Oh, that's too many chairs. Oopsie. Too many slices. Gotta move this. Oh my gosh. Please let me put a chair there. I'm a natural with roofs. I know. I can't put this chair there because the stupid arch. Are you serious? Move this more over there. Oh my. What is the problem? Why, Sims 3? What? I can't put this chair here. It won't slot. What? Eh? What? It, uh, can't intersect sim? Can't intersect sim. Okay, this is when I turn on move objects on. He <laughs> he. No, the light was not in the way. It had to be the. So, someone must be trying to route over here. <laughs> uh, 
I hate this game sometimes. I do. Jokes, guys. Jokes. This 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 house is trying Maddie's mental health. No, literally. <laughs> that is so accurate. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm done. I'm done. They have 930 simoleons. They have bills to pay. Why is Donnie's out? Oh my. Okay, that was weird. Oh shoot, I didn't have a baby crib. Oopsie. Here's uh Dina Juliet's. I, I forgot her name. Juliet. What's her? What's her? What's her? Okay, she likes yellow. Save. Yes, I'll save. I'm gonna make her room yellow. Reminds me of Lucy's room because Lucy's favorite color is also yellow. It's kind of stupid how the little sister crib, the modded crib I have. Why is it more expensive than the EA crib? That's what I want to know. It's like half of the size. Look, here's the regular one, and then here's the little sister one. This one saves space, which is really nice, especially in like small rooms. And also, I feel like the EA crib is kind of big for babies. Why, why use that when you can have this crib that fits, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay, here's Juliet. So Juliet's birthday is today. She's gonna be aging up to a toddler. Donnie ages up in five days. Oh shoot, we need cat stuff before the house kicks them out. I'm gonna put the cat stuff in the living room because why not? Put the crib in, or the crib. I called it a crib. The pet bowl right here. The little wall dancer and I'm broke. Good night party. Oh, I'm going to save too. John's an uh, adult now. Why was he a young adult? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Actually, it might make sense. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Well, no, that doesn't make sense because Lucy would be literally the same age as her dad. I don't know. I should have aged him up to an adult. Yeah, because Mary Sue was a young adult. Daniel was a young adult. John was a young adult, which I didn't notice. And I guess Jen is probably a young adult too. I don't know if maybe they forgot to change their ages or whatever, but. Oh, you're sleeping in Donnie's bed, really? I'm gonna have her sleep over there. Nina could sleep over here. Donnie sleep in here. Oh shoot, cat litter. Yes, thank you. I will put that down. Good idea, Izzy. Yes, thank you, Annie, as well. Darren wrote a new book. Footprints in the Snow. 509 pages! This man is out here writing Stephen King novels. My lord. It's a long book. Angela was mucho creeped out when she caught former lover Alexander Goff hanging outside around her house. This doesn't help Alexander's case. This doesn't help his case. Why is he stalking Angela? Leave her alone, please, Dustin. Please protect your woman. Ew. Yeah. Wait, I'm saving again. I'm scared. My game's like lagging. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Carson? Who is Jennifer in John's newest trial? It's Carson. Carson Burb. Yeah, he's born last stream. Why are all the men in this town such creeps? Also, Coral and Herb, hello. They're still alive. They haven't died. Like, how is that possible? I'm going to. First of all, I'm gonna turn on. I'm gonna turn off the ability for Nina and Dina to move out by themselves because I'm gonna lose my mind if I did all this work renovating their house and they just move out. I'm gonna cry. Set law address. That's cute. What is that? Oh. I already, I already have. Okay, never mind. I didn't, I didn't know what that did. I've never seen that option before. Played this game for so long, never seen that before. Kill them. Let's vote on it. Maybe they had death lars too. No, I don't think so. I mean, actually, I, I didn't think about that. I'm not sure. Okay, let me turn it off so they can't move out. Household options. We're going to go down to household move as family false and house will move a solo false turn both of those to false there we go now they can't move out by themselves and cassandra pleasant has been tutoring my little yasmin i don't know who yasmin is but wait did i just see that dustin got someone pregnant hold on a sec he got someone pregnant i just saw it who was it who was it dustin i click oh Where's everyone gone? Why are my map tags gone? Oh lord. Oh lord. What's going on? Wait, is Angela pregnant now? 
My map tags are gone. I can't see a damn thing. Uh oh. <laughs> Where are they? Okay, there we go. Uh, yep. Angela got pregnant with Dustin. All right, Lizzie. So in your house, in your in your new house for Dustin in Don Lothario's condo, you have you have a responsibility to add a baby room for Angela and Dustin. Okay. So in the in the Don Lothario condo, you have another bedroom you have to add. So now Dustin is having a baby. I can't switch to Dustin. I don't know why it's not working. It's literally not working. It keeps switching to the Caliente sisters. This happened the other day. And I had to swap to like someone random. And then I just swap over to him. It was really weird. Something to do with Enroll streamer. There we go. Yeah, it got it keeps getting stuck on the Caliente sisters when I keep swapping. I don't know why that's happening. So I guess Angela's just going to move in with Dustin, I suppose. At least they made it out of high school. True. That's true. So Dustin was... What was he doing? We were having him do like a... Oh my gosh. Mary Sue's dating this random townie. Okay, whatever. That's fine, I guess. I could, I, could I ever redeem a risky move over Dustin, the Egyptian townie he met? Um, Yes, but I'd have to get her here. Uh, I'd have to invite her to visit. We could do that. Actually, it wouldn't work because we would never be able to see her pregnancy like play out, if that makes sense. Like as soon as if she gets pregnant coming here immediately when she gets back, I actually don't know if I actually don't know if foreign visitors can get pregnant, but if it did, it would immediately age the child. OK, this is so weird. If you all have never played World Adventures before, let's say we have Dustin go to Egypt, right? And while he was in Egypt, he woohooed with Tahia Shalut and got her pregnant. On Dustin's return trip to Pleasant View, and when he finally returned in town, if I pulled out this panel, he would have a child that's in a that's a that's a um a child. He would have a kid that's a child. Because the game, for whatever reason, if you get a foreign sim pregnant when you're in their foreign home world, it give has them give birth and then they the kid automatically ages up to a child. It's the most bizarre thing ever. I think why it is, is because when EA made What Adventure is, if you notice, none of the premates have babies. They are all children and up. And so I think they didn't want to have to include like cribs and things like that in the foreign sims houses. So that's why when your sim travels back, all of the foreign babies that they made when they were in whatever world they're in, either France, China or Egypt, they will all be children. It's so it's so weird i would have to think about it like why on like logistics level like why would they do that i don't, I don't know all right wow this room is really red with my reshade let's see what's going on here so burbs jen's not pregnant thank god oh let's swap let's swap to lucy i was having fun playing her before she was being a bad girl and she was a uh, stylist so that was fun Oh, she's taking care of her little brother. Bo keeps throwing parties. Was there another party over there? Oh my gosh. Oh, right. They had another baby. Why don't you give this baby to your mother so you can go to work? I don't know what she's going to do with her, but I'm off to work, mom. So I don't know what you're going to do with your child. Not my responsibility. We need Lucy like out of this house. I'm sorry to say I love Lucy, but we need the space. We do, I'm sad to say. Mortimer's still kicking, yes. He had the death flower, so he gets to relive his um, elder years over from day one. I'm gonna save my game. Move Lucy in with the, oh my gosh. I How did I forget that they were dating? That, I, tr I guess I tried to block it out. <laughs> I tried to block it out of my mind that Lucy is dating dawn oh my gosh what am i gonna do about that that is just messed up and i feel very uncomfy but i kind of like the weirdness of the pairing because i've never done that pairing before and i like the weird pairings because it makes me play the game differently lucy wants to get another tattoo should we do it also, I don't know why she got to want to get married. 
Oh, Kaylee in the story is the oldest caregiver. Yes, yeah, she is. I'm gonna have her do some street art at her job. Why not? You know? People smoke pot when they're working at their job. So Lucy can do her. Lucy can do her graffiti at her job. <laughs> um, who needs a new outfit? Wait, who is it? It's multiple everyday looks. Oh no. Someone wants multiple everyday looks. Can't decide what's worse, Dino or Alexander or Lucy and Dawn. Lucy and Dawn, who is this? Who is talking to? It's cause, oh, it's Mary Sue. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, it's uh, Finn talking to his aunt. Okay, cute. All right, who needs new outfits? Who is it? Which one of you? Which one of you needs new outfits? Aubrey, perfect. I didn't give her a makeover yet. Come here, Aubrey. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wait, no, I think I have to do this. Why is Daniel Pleasant giving Bo a new outfit? That's what I want to know. Why? Why? Oh, he gave him a nice tux. That's cute. It actually looks good. Wow. The NPCs giving good outfits in the stylist career for once? That's crazy. Is she pregnant? I have teen pregnancy off. So no, she's not pregnant. That's just... That's just the ugly outfit the game gave her. <laughs> That's just the ugly game outfit. All right, so she needs three new outfits, which if you don't know how I do this, to save time so we can actually get some gameplay in, I just do one outfit that I like. Oh, she's pretty. Look at her beautiful. She has a beautiful face. She's very pretty. I do one outfit I like, and then the rest I just delete afterwards. I do give her three outfits, though. Uh, we have played with Bo here and there. He still lives with Brandy and Morty, so when we play them, we kind of play with him, I guess. Yeah, she's a beauty. She's a beauty. All right, I'm going to change this outfit, like, very minimally. I'm going to give just, like, random out outfits so the game recognizes that I at least did change it. I know it looks tragic. All right, I, un I understand. I have a method to my madness, though. I, I promise. I have a method to my madness. change <laughs> this outfit is so ugly okay and then here's gonna outfit number one is gonna be her actual outfit i give her something like this the shorts <laughs> listen i will i will give her something that actually looks good for this outfit she's a teen though so i want to keep her outfit like a teenager would wear so something like simple i guess this jean shorts looks fine this top is fine i'm just gonna change her shoes can't believe it makes me want to do can't believe it's making me do three outfits for her that's that's actually crazy did she have these on before i'm not gonna risk it i think she did have these on before these these shoes she looks good in green her eyes i think it's because her eyes are green and they're just like so pretty so this is if you don't know who this is this is aubrey broke i had to think about her last name she is the daughter of brandy and skip it's the unborn baby that brandy has at the beginning of the game and that's who she is maybe some jeans honestly just give her some jeans she's gonna be aging up any day now so i don't want to like spend too much time on her outfit Let's see oh these are cute these are cute shorts Maybe you could send Aubrey to uni. She'd make a good central character in that arc. <laughs> Why? Because she's stunning. <laughs> she is stunning, I will say. I'll give her that, okay? I'll give her that. This is a cute outfit. Give her this. You said makeup. Nah, she doesn't need makeup. She's natural. She's all natural and she's very pretty with it. Okay, so there's her outfit. Uh, just ignore the other two outfits that I gave her. I'm going to delete those here in a second. I think Aubrey to Unity would be fitting since she was the first ever baby born. Was she really? I guess she was, right? Three simoleons. Thank you, Aubrey. <gasps> She's crying. She's like, why did you do that to my other two outfits, Maddie? I'm sorry. She's literally crying. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, wait, let me delete those outfits. Hold on before you leave. 
yikes we're gonna remove outfits two and three tears of joy <laughs> good night yunki complete complain about sleep deprivation to Bo. hmm Bo's looking like a member of nsync I'm about to play that career, so thanks for the advice. Yeah. Just use Enros to remove the other two outfits, honestly. Makes it go by much quicker. I do hate how, like, I'll put my whole effort into putting a nice outfit together, and then the game is like, hey, I don't like this outfit, but it's whatever. At least she's getting paid and, like, is getting job promotion for actually. Um, she's only level one. Jeez, this career is tough, man. This career is really tough. Daniel wants a new outfit. He has had the same outfit for the entire Pleasant View, so... Hey, if he wants to pay me for it, I'll go ahead and give him an outfit. Yeah, it's because she did not like the makeover that she, the game did not prompt me to give her... Uh, to, to take a picture, I mean. <clears throat> okay, we're here till 7 p.m. We're just sitting here waiting. Oh, are are they woohooing back at home? Yes, they are. Of course they are. Did they just woohoo, actually? No, they didn't. They are probably about to, though. Embracing. John and Jen, more babies incoming. I'm, I'm ready for it. I wish they would just have a girl. Like, please, just give me a girl. All right, Lucy's done for the day. Yeah, I'm not surprised she's gonna get pregnant again. <gasps> Wait, I think they don't have enough room in their bed because I put the baby here. Can he get in? Wait, 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 wait. Test out the other side of the bed. Yeah, he can't because the stupid crib is there. I have to find a place. Oh, I'm gonna have to put a chair. Move objects on. Let's move all this over this here and this lamp uh just put it right there i guess there we go now at least it can woohoo okay if they want i'm not gonna have them do it but if they want to they can all right what's lucy up to i want lucy to do more graffiti i'm gonna send her to the park you know how long it took you to build your computer? Um, it took me like a day to put everything together. I also, well, my brother initially, when I was like 15, my brother showed me how to do it. So I kind of just learned. I also like to watch that kind of YouTube videos and stuff like that. But once you know once, I mean, you can pretty much keep doing it. It's not hard. Like if something breaks in your computer, you can kind of self-diagnose and like swap out parts. It's really rewarding, like putting together your own computer and then knowing what each part does and where it slots in and how to, how it runs and how to set it up and stuff like that in front of the baby <laughs> listen i'm just kidding uh yeah unfortunately when you have a million kids this is what happens is it better to build a computer or just buy one it's probably cheaper to build one i actually haven't upgraded my parts in a while um, so I don't know if it's, it would be cheaper, but personally, when I did it, it was cheaper. I also had like, oh, person's aging up. I also had like the uh, extra parts, like leftovers. So I didn't really have to buy. I mean, I, had, I, buy, I bought a couple of things when I upgraded my PC, but we can make tips from murals. I didn't know you could do that. She's going to get arrested again. I already know it's coming, but it's okay. It wouldn't be a public park without a little bit of graffiti, right? Oh, she's like looking at, Elizabeth's looking at me. Goody two shoes over there. Let's be level three. Okay, that's interesting. <gasps> Dawn's here. <laughs> Lucy's boyfriend, Dawn is here. It still weirds me out. It really weirds me out. Angel's vomiting. Yeah, she's pregnant with Dustin's baby. Remember, Christopher? You can see this. Oh, I see the tip jar now. What? Who is this? My love? 
<gasps> Elizabeth and Finn. That is a cute combo. That is such a cute combo. Elizabeth and Finn. Oh, they just snapped into place. Oh. I like that the, the teens in Pleasant View have like their own underground going ons and everything. It's cute. Okay, so here we are. Where is Dawn at? Is he still in the bathroom? Lucy's gonna go use the bathroom. Where did Dawn go to? Where did he where did he leave? He like ran off. I don't know. It feels like Lucy and Dawn are a strange pairing. Is he home? Oh, he's home. Okay, we're gonna have Lucy go visit her boyfriends. I know they're technically boyfriend girlfriend, but I still have to feel the need to put air quotes around it. He saw Lucy and ran. Elizabeth is kind of my fave. I like her. <laughs> you might be the only one, Christopher. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. She is. She's had a hard life. Okay, to her credit, she's had a hard life. Um. That's all I can really say about her. Get a jump, stay away from her. I love how Lucy's street art is just like plastered all around town. It's cute. Coral's writing novels. Well, that's nice. At least she's doing something with her time here. I don't know how she hasn't died yet. It's got to be like a setting or something that's keeping her alive. Because I kind of just want to... I kind of just want to kill them. <laughs> I like the storyline of like Kaylin doing something. And, and, oh, look at this. Look at this. Her body is getting pretty old and won't live forever. Now might be a good time to consider paying a visit. <gasps> oh, and Lucy's flirting with Dawn. This is the weirdest relationship I have ever. It's like making me physically uncomfortable to watch them. <laughs> it's making me physically uncomfortable. Yep. Well, I'll put my home. It's like nice place you got here and Dawn's like thank you could be yours someday oh another woohooing nice lovely lovely Dawn is her way out you you could actually be right about that so she's gonna woohoo with Dawn literally just got over here and we're gonna look at this nice piano this nice grand piano Lucy's a family sim and Dawn is a romance sim and sims too they'd have zero chemistry you are correct but here's the thing and Ross has mysterious ways of working. <laughs> Lucy, nice place you got here, Dawn. Dawn, thanks I stole it. <laughs> so true. <gasps> Bella's out? Is it Bella? It's gotta be Bella, right? Bella's trying to save Lucy. She's like, girl, get out of here. Yeah, Bella's the only one back here. Where is Bella? Bella! Where are you? She's around here somewhere. She's haunting. I don't see her though. Oh, 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 we're frozen. We're frozen. We're frozen. We're frozen. We're frozen. I just saved though. So screw you game. I see the woohoo. Oh, there we go. We're good. Okay. It was like that. Oh, there she is. There she is. There she is. Look at Bella. For some reason she has, what is that fire? They gave her the fire occult, right? Is that fire? Yeah. What? What? Is that? Wait, is that really fire? Yeah. Oh, fall from sky? Fall from the sky. Hmm. I've never seen this death type before. I'm not gonna lie. What is that related to? Where is that from? She fell out of the UFO. But like, how do you get that, like, natively in The Sims? Oh, it's in the future. Um, jetpack. Okay. I didn't know you could die from the jetpack. Wait, that's actually spooky. I was having my sims like use the jetpack all the time in my into the future let's play spooky nina and darren broke up are we surprised no honor's graduating in a couple of days oh bella just disappeared back there 8 a.m and herb is getting pretty old so herb is gonna die that's fine <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have so many notifications. I'm gonna have, what's her face, get up. Lucy, I couldn't think of her name. And let's just have her eat some, I don't know. Wait, I need to stock this fridge. Dawn has been living and loving in this house. 
Oh, she had a bad mood light after the woohoo. Oops. Um, can I not serve? I just, I just filled up this fridge. What is going on? Okay, I guess we're having, I can't even have a quick meal. Sometimes I hate, oh, Dawn, you are eating those nasty. Wow, this is a true, a true lazy man. <laughs> eating the, eating the spoiled autumn salad, even though it's got flies all around it. Love that for you. All right, Lucy's going to head on home. She's going to sneak out, sneak out of his house. Yeah, the salad literally has flies on it. I was trying to, I was making sure that Lucy wasn't pregnant and she is not. Dawn is a minute man. Oh, is Dawn a minute man? Um, probably not. He has lots of experience. Like he wouldn't be. Why are all these fringes like this? Uh, no, don't scold him. Fuck fridge. This is so close to SimCity, right? Don makes giant puddles when he showers. He does. He does make giant puddles. Oh my gosh, this child is starving. Oh my gosh, this child is exhausted and hot. He's toasty. Sandra is heavily pregnant now, y'all. She's so pregnant. Oh, she's teaching her son how to walk. That's so cute. This poor kid seems to go to sleep. Wait, who are you? You're Finn, sleep in your bed. It says sleep in Finn's bed. Like that isn't his bed, what? I'm confused. All right, we're having some salad. Lucy had to make a salad for everybody. I don't know why John is looking to. Lucy, stop! She keeps doing the protests and stuff. It's so annoying. I'm gonna have her go somewhere and do some street art. Let's have her go to the park again. We're just gonna tag Woodland Park. Wait, was Dirk breaking someone's finger again? I had to break a couple of fingers before they decided to work with me, remarked Dirk Dreamer while conversing with fellow minion Dina Caliente. Damn you, Dirk. He's always breaking some fingers, honestly. You know, happens. Okay, let's have her go do a ground mural over here. She keeps protesting! Stop! I have to delete the megaphone from her inventory. We're getting a phone call. Hello? Oh, it's Dawn. Come here, Dawn. I'll chat with you. He's like, hey, I saw you sneak out last night. Where did you go, Lucy? <laughs> Why didn't you say bye to me before you left? Elizabeth Lothario is here. Nina's hanging with this guy. This guy is definitely her next, uh, her next prospect. Where's my hug, Lucy? <laughs> Why didn't you hug me? <laughs> oh. Okay. The game didn't like what I had to say. <laughs> it reset her. <laughs> Lucy just wants her voice to be heard. Well, I'm hearing it a little bit too much. So that needs to dial down. That's a cheap bachelor man phrase. True. Oh, she wants to teach Carson how to walk. Sure. Lucy will die of ranting about death before Coral and him die. So much hate towards Lucy. I love Lucy. What are you saying? I can, I can make fun of her and love her at the same time. Thank you, Maisha. What's up with Prime? I appreciate it. <laughs> Not Lucy in her just stop oil era? Just stop oil. Work out. Okay, we can work out for four hours. Wow, Connor made a painting for a whopping two simoleons. Good job, Connor. When are we living Lucy in Paris season? Um... When I am, when I come to the realization that adding World Adventures worlds will need to happen and be okay with it. 
I'm scared of those. I'm scared of the game size, to be honest, if I do too many World Adventure worlds. Oh! Daniel had a baby. Okay. Well, what letter are we even on? <laughs> a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L? Is it L? I think it's L. Let's name him Luke. Luke Pleasant. Okay. It was just one baby, thank God, I think. Yes, baby Luke. Luke Pleasant. All right, let's see. Oh, she had him at her house. That is girl boss. She had a home birth. Let's see what he looks like. I'm a little scared. We let go. Yeah. The, the chin is real. <laughs> the chin is real. But he's not too bad. I mean, he's, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's cute. He's cute. All right. So there's Luke. The crimson chin realness. It's true. It's it's Cassandra. He's okay. He's okay. Who's doing a party? Oh my gosh. Is there another one? Another Bo Broke party? Does he throw them every day? <laughs> Bo throws a party every day. A new day, new party for Bo. Oh, Juliet learned to walk. Just as uh Carson learned to walk. It looks like Buzz Lightyear. Bo is like Jake Paul. It's every day, bro. Does he have the party animal tree? Actually, I don't know. I really don't know. Let's see. No, he doesn't. He's just crazy with it. This child is crying. I forgot they have like a million kids. Notice how I'm avoiding all of the kids. Um, <gasps> Herb finally died! Oh, shoot. A child is aging up, too. Oh, Garrett is aging up. These kids did not learn any of their skills, did they? No, they did not. <laughs> Very responsible, Morty and Brandy. Very responsible. Love that. I can't believe Herb finally died. <gasps> oh, are these kids the cute ones? Wait, no, these kids were the average ones, right? These weren't like... They, they, they weren't they weren't that cute when they age up, right? Hello, game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we stuck? Are we stuck? Are we stuck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh Oh, uh oh, y'all. I got the hourglass. Oh, no. Wait for program to respond. <laughs> Can I salvage it? Can I salvage it? Please respond. Please respond. Please, please come back. Baby, come back. You're all I need. Ah, this is sad. Such a Sims 2 situation is very true. All right, y'all, that sucks. All right, back in we go. Love this game. <laughs> I love The Sims 3. Yeah, Herb wanted another chance at life. That's why he that's why he did that to my game. Very true. Very true, everyone. I'm glad we all got it. He's like meddling with my game, I think. Couldn't handle Herb's death. There was no coming back from that. I do wonder the mod that is, um, can we, can we see his death this time? Oh, that's true. We could look at his death now that we know he's dying. Not today. He didn't want to die. Whenever I launch this game, my camera, at least on OBS, it like gets laggy. Let me know if the stream is laggy for y'all on your side. It's like, it's like, not laggy, it's like 30 FPS maybe, maybe 20 FPS. But I don't know if it does it for you guys. Yeah, I know I need, I need to save more, I do. 
it's fine mine okay good it's just it must just be maybe when i'm launching the game it um it takes a lot of power i don't know i actually think it's reshade that is bogging down my game when i launch it you need to save every 10 minutes i hate it when it changes direction in your story i also hate that believe me i hate it <laughs> i hate it too i think we just saved though so we're pretty close to herb's death so we can we can watch him die that sounds morbid but yeah I'm surprised how quickly this really does load. It's got a, I mean, it's a relatively small town, but it is getting pretty big. This Pleasant View is getting pretty big at this point. Kind of nervous. <sighs> hmm. I'm gonna fall asleep. Are we here? We're here. Okay, Lucy just did a bunch of spray paint, right? Yep, she did. So we need to kind of catch up. Oh, we can switch. We can swap right over to um. Oh, we're like only a couple hours short of where we were before, I think. Yeah, Carson didn't learn to walk yet. Right, let me swap. Sw let me swap to Herb and Coral and Kaylin. There we go. Okay, we're here. So Herb is set to die. Found by me. And Coral, get your last woohoo's out, girl. I low-key been thinking about attempting an Uber with all the Sims 2 and families because I neglect them all in my normal gameplay. Really? I think the in families like Jen and John are really fun. Dirk Dreamer decided to make an example of Angela Pleasant's the surface of oppression recently, smashing the article with an incredible amount of zeal. Next time you decide not to pay your taxes, just remember this moment. Are you cool now? I'm scared of Dirk. <laughs> I'm scared of him. <laughs> He's smashing stuff. A lot of people wore the pink outfit to the movie I went to when I saw Barbie. Oh, is it time? No, he's just getting up at like 6 a.m. because he's an elder. Right. Right. Okay. The dog does not like Herb. He gets bad vibes from him, I guess. Oh, he's eating. Why? Why? Why do all the men in this town eat the disgusting fly ridden food? I don't get it. He's like, Kaylin! Kaylin, can, can, can you make me some breakfast? This man's literally on his deathbed. Coral's popping up from her bed because I did a deeper conversations prompt. Very interesting. Oh my god. File is 700 megabytes? That is crazy. <laughs> that is a huge file. They do get up early for no reason. I don't know why. All right, Kaylin, making some breakfast for everybody. Oh, Nina and Dina and uh, Nina and Darren ended their relationship. I thought they did a while ago. Oh, look at that very clean stove. Wow, it's sparkling clean. I would lick that stove. Just kidding. All right, everyone, get up. Time for breakfast. So Herb is dying on a Sunday. Nina and Darren, yeah. I'm really not surprised anymore, to be honest. I'm I don't even know in these relationships. Whenever I see like Nina, I just don't even pay attention because I'm like, oh, another one. Another relationship. Kaylin wants to take the dog for a walk, so we can do that. Does he need food? No, he needs a pee though. Let's go to a walk to the salon. Why not? Oh, okay. Or just pee in my house. <laughs> okay. Bad dog. Bad. Bad boy. Okay, Coral and Herb are gonna get one more woohoo out, I guess. Oh, there we go. Finally. Jeez. That took long enough. The moment we've all been waiting for. I actually don't think he has a death flower. I can't check, but I don't think he does.
Oh. You shook hands with him. There we go. I'm sorry, Coral, but he was overdue, girl. You had more than enough time with him. Nothing's all crying, too. Save. Everyone's saying save. Finally, it dies. Rip old man. Coral's so heartbroken. Kaylin's acting like she's heartbroken. She's like... <laughs> like smiling through the tears. I'm glad he's gone. He was overdue. I mean, he had like, what, seven extra days? So... He lived past... He lived past his expiration date. Way past his expiration date. Where's his grave so I can move it? Where is it? Where'd it go? Where... What? Where did his grave go? Oh, it's probably at the mausoleum, right? If it's not on that lot. Go to... Over here. Um, what is it? What? What is the button you hit? Uh... Is there just not any gravestones? The dog's unbothered. I know family image. Oh, that's true. That's a good idea. Check that. No, no grave there. Oh, it's in the kitchen. How? He died over here and he, his grave is over. Okay. Okay, game. That makes a lot of sense. All right. So we're going to have Kaylin and Nina. No, I said Nina. <laughs> Kaylin and Coral head on over to the graveyard. And we're going to go put herbs herb's grave to to rest all of her oldies belongings have been moved to coral's inventory i had in my in my sims 2 coral when herb died she wanted to get with dawn it was so weird i i just did it because i mean the woman was on her last day so it's like mine as well give her a sweet some something sweet to commemorate her last moments commemorate her last moments all right let's go back here and Kaylin's in her nighty. Love that for her. I think she's in her nighty. No, she... Oh, she broke her phone. She's, she switched her clothes to her everyday attire, which is good. She's going to jog on over in her high heels. <laughs> and we are going to put Mr. Herb Oldie's grave right next to Skip's. And we're going to go mourn the man. Here lies Herb Oldie oldie he lived to up to his last name oh i can't write anymore he lived up to his last name you know he 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 died like nine days past when he was due kaylin go and go and go and mourn that over there i use frozen lighting mod all right let's go cry everyone go mourn doesn't like the morning moodlet in The Sims 4, doesn't it give you um shorter moodlet or morning a grave in The Sims 4? I'm pretty sure it gives this moodlet like it takes it away. <laughs> he took his fucking time, that's true. I love Kaylin's outfit, right? It's so cute. Kaylin's smiling through the tears. There's a great thumbnail face right here. <laughs> the death of Herboldy. This is such a pretty picture. Like the cherry blossom tree in the background. Kaylin's got crocodile tears, yeah. What a good picture. Immediately starts smiling. Oh my now she's now she's crying. She's like putting on, she's putting on a show. Yeah, quick thumbnail moment. Give me a moment. You gotta just take a couple pictures. Let me see if I can get like a cute thought bubble above her head. Hey, at least she's thinking of Herb. Watch her have like opportunity to resurrect him. That'd be crazy. She's thinking of all the sponge baths. She's like, I no longer have to give a sponge bath. Yes. Oh, she's gonna go use... <laughs> She's Googling right next to Herb's gravestone. She's like, how do I kill an old woman? <laughs> now Coral, yeah. Coral, we're waiting for you, girl. She's over here playing her little piano. Herb's body has great Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
All right, time to go home. That's that's enough. That's that's enough. We celebrated his death enough. <clears throat> okay, how's Sheba doing? I love this dog. I almost said cat. I almost called him a cat. What is this? Great sim. Okay. Greet me then. I like how Kaylin greets. Um, or the dog greets Kaylin instead of Coral, because, you know. Herb is going to hunt y'all. Phasmophobia style. It's so funny that Kaylin would be like playing Coral to try and get the house. She keeps crying. Kaylin, you do not care. Let me have her answer her phone. Hello, who is it? That's Kaylin's voice. No, I'm not going to watch Argyle Sinclair at the bookstore. I'm sorry, game. Maybe she was looking at life insurance policies on the computer, true. Oh, here. Okay, so we caught up to where we were before with Morty and Brandy's kids. So why is John Burb here? He looks like he's going to a funeral. What are you wearing, my boy? Coral goes live on Twitch to talk about Herb's death. <laughs> She's over here. Was she writing a book? We should write a... Uh... Wish, uh, uh drama novel. Oh! <gasps> Cassandra and... De okay, so we, we're gonna name him Luke, right? That's what we named him. Oh, he will look different! Bo's having a party! Oh no, not a, he's not having a party. Maybe they're mourning the death of... Of, uh, Herb, I don't know. Okay, so they had a boy again. Let's check. For the second time, we're gonna check what he looks like. Cause he will look different. He will look different than what he looked like before because we got his genetics like re-rolled because of the crash, the game crash. Alright, so here's Luke. So. This one looks identical to what the other one looked like. So that was that was disappointing. I made him an adult. Oh no. And my game crashed. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Saved by the bell. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I, I clicked the check mark on accident. We just saved though, so it's okay. The game's like, nope. Yeah, the, the, the game saved you, yeah. At least evil has been defeated and Herb is dead this time. Ooh. I can't believe I clicked the truck mark on accident. That is funny though. <laughs> the game crashed at like the best time actually. Hydration, thank you. Okay, Malachi said, excuse me. not excuse malachi look at malachi's little wig on the sock puppet how cute is that he has a wig everyone has like their own sock puppet it's so cute kawaii did so good with those okay we're almost back who should we close out with snath <laughs> snath pop suck it or pock sup it you have 1k socks? Okay. Dawn? All right, we'll, we'll close out with Dawn for tonight. Play Dawn, all right, we'll, we'll close out with Dawn. Wait, so does that mean Cassandra, we have to have her give birth for the third time because it didn't save? I saved like after Herb died, I think. Wanna see Nina? Well, we, we saw Nina earlier though. We gave her a new house with Dina. Hi, Ringo. How are you? Also, welcome. Your first time here. Maybe it'll be different the third time. Let's hope Luke gets the best genetics this time. 
see what she's up to. Okay, we'll see what Nina's up to. We'll see what Nina and Don are up to before we close off. If the game wants to load. Okay, so we just got back. Oh no, Herb just died in this version. Okay, whatever. Will the game... Oh god, please, please don't crash again. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. I thought we saved like after we dropped off Herb's gravestone but i guess we didn't so we're just gonna quickly drop it off at the graveyard you know we should check on mary sue hold on gotta put gotta put what's his face his gravestone over here you know i'll put that there and then Good. All right. Then we'll swap over to someone said the first person said Dawn. Lady Oak said Dawn. Where? Here we go. I don't know what he's doing. He's probably at work. No, he's going home. He has work in. Oh my gosh. I forgot we got him. He wants to be a firefighter now. Dawn has commitment issues. For you. He wants a pillow fight with, with Lilith. Let's just check his relationships. Nina, Kaylin, Lucy. Ugh. Uh, what else do we have here? He's exes with Mary Sue. That was a weird little love they had there. And of course, Cassandra as well. Lucy's calling him. Sure, Lucy. There's what Don's up to. He's just chilling. He's living his best bachelor life in his mansion. Okay, someone said they want to see Nina. What she's doing, I don't think she's home right now, but we can take a look at her. Okay. Thank you for the hydration. So Nina is at work. No, why is she going to work? She doesn't work for 19 hours. Hmm. She's a water girl at the fire department. And she actually... This random townie that got pulled into our neighborhood that everyone was saying to kill. <laughs> Nina is now with him, so that's wonderful. Hopefully she doesn't have a baby with him. And then last but not least, Lizzie wanted to check up on Mary Sue. So we will check up on her. Her dad just died. <gasps> she wants to date Clifton. Who's her ex? Ooh, that is a cute outfit, Mary Sue. Did I give her that? I don't think I gave her that, did I? Very cute, but Mary Sue's dad just died, Herb. So, shift delete looking good right now. It is. Oh, we're going over to the broke household. <laughs> Someone said that Bo was having a party, and I think you may be right. Even though the game is not saying that he's like officially having a party, because Mary Sue's at, over at the goth house. Yeah, Mary Sue looks stunning. She's stunning. She's beautiful. Yeah, Mary's their daughter, their adopted daughter. <clears throat> Come on, game. I'm starting to get really long saves and really, really big crashes. You'll notice that. Parties are glitched because he's throwing them everyone every day at the same time. Bo's just the party boy. All right, so here's Mary not doing much campaign intern politics level three it's uh i don't think it's a mod problem it is a um like memory like too many sims at one time and ross type of problem i love Bo's look oh my gosh this baby's crying why did i come over here <laughs> why did i come over here Overpopulation, yeah. Where is this party happening? Just gonna turn on some music. Maybe switch to Cass? Oh, so we can name her baby? That's true. We can swap to her. Mary's not doing much. She's just chilling. I'm so I I everyone's like swapped around now. So, oh, that's Aubrey. Where's Cass? Cass and Aubrey have the same haircut. Am I, where, what? Am I okay? Where is Cassie living? You know Cassie, where, where is she living? 
I just need one person. I just need one person in her household. Oh, it's. I'm just gonna stop the Daniel. I couldn't see. Okay. All right. Cassie should be giving birth any minute now. She's so pregnant. She's heavily pregnant. She's digging through trash piles. Why are you doing this? <laughs> okay, we're gonna, oh, there we go. There we go, it's time. We'll see if Daniel's there for the birth of his baby with, with Cassandra. I have a feeling probably not, but whatever. They'll have more, they'll have more. Don't worry about it. Are we on M? No, we're still on L. <laughs> we're still on L because oh my gosh Daniel didn't go to work he missed his day at work why doesn't the game pull him to the uh to his work site I don't know we're still on L because the game crashed like three times before Luke could be born so it's still Luke and it was like another one thank you <laughs> No, we're naming him Luke. It's Luke. Canonically, he's Luke. He's vegetarian. And a night owl. Here we go. Yay! Lots of things happening for Cassandra. Oh, save true. Let's save, like, right now. <gasps> Hi from Brazil! No, this is the same baby. Three times over. Third time's the charm, right? That's what they say. Hi, Asha. How are you? Asha has the sock puppet with the wig. And the little star. How cute. Saves are getting long, y'all. We got this. All right, we, we did it. We did it! Yay, we had a baby! Yay! And now we have no more space in their house. Let's see. Oh, baby's crying. Baby's crying. Baby's crying already. Why are we all in? Why are we all in the same room? I need to add a crib in here, guys. Please move out of my way. Move and move. And duplicate. Eat some house. Yep, that's Cassandra for you. He won't be reborn a fourth time. No, he won't. Elizabeth ran into Lilith and chatted for a while. I've never seen this message before. That's interesting. What the living hell is this outfit? <gasps> Coral, do you know? Because our goth have been hitting it off recently. And close friends have been asking, is it love? Okay, so on that note, <laughs> on that note, um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna just pretend like I didn't see that. Coral with who? Coral with Alexander Goth. Okay, well, I'm gonna end stream there for the night. <laughs> just end stream on that note. No, Herb just died and she's getting with Alexander in Herb's wake. Yeah, Herb's body isn't even a day old. That's so true. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to end stream there for the night. I will be back next Saturday with some more Sims 3 or next Wednesday with Sims 2 or on Monday for Detroit Become Human. Yay. All right, guys, good night. Bye.